you ready? knew that it's it's like at the top of the whole thing thank you for the five months bt91 gecko thank you for the four months thank you to that person that extended their gifted sub and became a hammer full-time cat jamming out of their freaking mind in the chat are you ready to we're not we're not rumbling we're just picking up dubs we're accumulating currency and we need i need your help with a decision Quick trip, Jesus, what do you have to say? Thank you for the five dollars. Glory to Liechtenstein. I'm the one who sent you the glorious GK on Twitter. Also, don't hit the nose too early like Jesse. Jesse Marsh, what do you do? Well, I hope you're on the toilet, save yourself. I've been, I'm known as a, I almost said aphrodisiac. That's not the right word. I'm a nice laxative. Is that on my resume? <laughs> Professional laxative. You look at this face and he just... Three months to the greatest FM player of all time. Love you, Senpai X. Reference to Fast and Furious. Oh, I've never seen. I've never seen all 25 Fast and Furious movies. That's my bad. Pass That's me my bacon. That's an oversight on my part. Penguin S, thank you so much for the three months. Sias, you got your silver bacon. Congratulations. <laughs> A, 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 come on the Celtic Big Zealand Glasgow's green and white. Not this year, but soon again, Darren, I believe. Thank you for the nine months of the Twitch Prime. Melvin, the, the gifted son. Oh my God. Hope sick mode is in the elite online gaming community. The Night Robin with a five. Five months left school. <sighs> so close to that silver bacon. I need help. I need help with the decision. I need, I need help with the decision. I need help. I need you to help me. That's why we're all here. Nick Fitz, thank you so much for the four months. Jordy Classy. Jordy Classy, it's actually come through, Chad. We need to we need to have a long conversation about this. Whether we want another old immobile senile man at the bank at the base of our midfield do we want an old senile man at the base of i don't know this i'm just gonna have this in my hand the whole day it's such a fabulous material and i was wiping the you know the screen here i'll wipe you too there we go it should be nice and clear now which is probably worse the new hom chick dude he's honestly yeah look at this mental but they're not that good right this dude's a snail and he's weak he's weak sauce Weak sauce. Block and Deprive, thank you for the two months. Tuesday of house cleaning in Zealand Entertainment Television. The CET, the Zet, Zealand Entertainment Television. Now for thank you so much for the five months. You nuke them at eight. Can't believe it's only you eight. You don't want to be signing old men, or else you'll turn into Juventus. And who'd want that? Nah, nobody. Nobody would want that. Especially because the guy on Juventus said that Ronaldo's the best player in the world. <laughs> Maybe a couple years ago, not now. You are high if you think that literally the best player on the planet right now is Cristiano Ronaldo. You need to you need to undergo significant talk screening if you have that opinion. This is just not true right now. He is one of the five greatest players in the history of the sport, if not the best one. I'm open to that debate. Right now, he is not the best player in the world. Shieldsy, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. It's Scott Carson. You know, the best player in the world is, is Jordy Classy, actually. Shieldsy, make sure you get in the subscriber section of the Discord as well. Pepe's the best player in the world. It's De Bruyne. Now, I, I would say uh, Lewandowski or Holland, honestly. Leo Messi, though, by the way. Leo Messi has reawoken. I don't know what, like, he just tapped into that vein again, and he's got, like, 
35 goals and assists in 20 matches or something stupid it's not that exactly it pulled that one right out of the posterior but i it's something like that best defender in the world right now uh virgil van dyke's good knee You probably wanted an actual answer. Uh, the player uh, five years from now, um, give me Dio Upamecano and Wesley Fofana. Eugene Montanellis, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime and being part of an elite online gaming community. Right, I need to actually decide. You guys are so unhelpful. Okay. Uh, do I want you, Jordy? Or am I going to be like your father and leave you? So we have Jeffrey DeLong, we have Matt Butcher, we have Lucas Kioza, we have Yaya Maleje. I think I'm missing somebody. Am I missing? Oh, Harab. So I'm totally missing somebody. It's Harab. Yeah, he'll be back on the fourth from his Chinese youth national team duties just in time. I guess he'll be fit. That's fine. He'll be back for the first league match. Whoa! Leave me alone. I do need... <clears throat> I do need midfielders. Somehow that worked. But, like, do I have other options, though? My question. Like, Victor Orozco. My goodness. Well... Zeland. It's only 18. I'm gonna judge him too hard. But what about that dude that we're scouting? Who just called me Zeland? Oh, that's just the guy mispronouncing my name. Zodical Bench, thank you so much for the prime and the three months. Welcome to the TTS and congrats on cooking your bacon. Yes, Ali Jru, thank you for the two months as well. Back and part of the hammers. You set up a B team? Yeah, we have a B team. We uh, we are not. Uh, it's like it's a semi pro team, which it sucks. So we're not really paying attention to it. Inspired by you, I started to save with Salford. It's the Salford story. Yo, you Master Hale. I love the name. That's not why I'm here, though. Dianofrio, I need you to tell... Oh, oh, my God. No. Why am I sad? Why am I sad? You know why I'm sad. What does this guy suck at? I mean, suck eggs at. Ali Drew, hey. Prejudice, thank you for converting to a tier one to be part of the Hammers long term. Does the world knowledge of the club have any effect on what type of nationality a youth intake has? Uh, no, it's not just youth recruitment, it's youth recruitment and like the nationality of yourself as the coach, uh, any nationality requirements that the club has um, also play into it. But I don't think it. it's not just the knowledge of the world. No, I don't think that plays a role in it. No, he, he doesn't. What does he suck at? Not passing. He sucks at defense, chat. He's re. I don't really care if he can't move that much because the dude's an incredible passer. If he could move that well and pass that well, he would not be on my. Like, he would not be on my docket. This dude can't play any defense. Like, not even a little bit. Like, three to seven, four to eight. Buns defender. Right here. Marking and tackling. I want to play him here. Zealand, thank you for all you do for the world of FM. Truly enjoyed the game on a much deeper level. Hoping to stream myself soon. Thank you on behalf of the FM community. Love, Melman. Melman, thank you so much for the $5. I, appreci I appreciate the kind words. I'm glad I've accidentally had such a positive effect on so many people. But yes! Yeah! God, why did you have to suck at defense? Just like, I will trade two passing for you to be able to like, not disappear on defense. Cause he's unathletic and he also can't defend, which means he's, he's hopeless in a double pivot. He needs two other midfielders around him 
to make him useful. And then he is very useful because he can't be relied upon to score and get forward and he can't be relied upon to defend. So you need one guy doing both of those things and this guy passing in between them. Meanwhile, he's gonna cost a bucket of money and we need to finish the scouting before we're absolutely sure. I hate it here. Antonucci wants way too much money. We've already tried this. Let's try it again, shall we? Francesco Antonucci. Impact sub. Look at that. The money's going down, baby. I'm, gonna, I'm literally just going to be like, hey, take if you take 187000 I'll sign you. Yo! God, I mean, he wa Okay, there's a couple of things we're going to need to get rid of, but I literally just cut his wage in half, and he was like, well, I mean, he, okay. Well, if you raise, you know, if you raise the substitution fee by two hundred dollars, right, uh, and you add like, no, then we're gonna get rid of the yearly salary raise, remove and exclude. Salary after reaching club games, remove and exclude. The agent's like, I'm gonna really have to explain this to my client. I'm gonna need you to pay me a lot. I'm gonna lock it at thirteen. Um, that parents fee is high. I'm gonna take the unused substitute fee and drop it down to five hundred. We're gonna take the appearance fee and drop to 1.3. We're gonna lock those in and we're gonna see if he hates me. Damn, we were pushing our luck a little bit. That was hilarious though. See, here's the thing. Nobody else is gonna give him that money either. And if they do, they're an idiot. And so what we're gonna do is keep waiting until the end of August, we'll be able to offer him another contract. And my goal was to set the tone with that offer so that we could try and get there next time. The fact that we almost got there this time bodes very well for us to be able to negotiate that contract again in a month. That is a guy that we're going to bring in, hopefully, as another attacking midfield option because we are thin, razor thin in the midfield. Very thin. In terms of players I don't hate, even thinner. Right? Like, Lucas Chioza, kind of hate him. Never really figured him out. Jeffrey DeLong, he's yet to prove himself. We don't, we don't know how we feel about Jeffrey DeLong. With all of that in mind... It's seeming more and more likely like I'm going to accidentally sign Jordi Klossi. I... <laughs> what just happened? I have no idea what just happened to my body. If you can get him in on trial, the timer resets. I mean, he is on trial right now. So the next time we bring him in on trial, then we can talk to him. Do you have any personal saves? No. <laughs> I do a lot of playing football manager and like running tests and stuff but I intentionally don't have any personal saves so that I'm always very excited to get on and play Eugene Mundanus with the five gifted subs. The Cinco de Gifto to Old Man Johnson, the only swag Lord Limo, Mac Gaming, and Captain King. You're in the hammers. Bacon is everywhere in the chat. It's unbelievable. And Eugene Mundanus has now gone from zero to five gifted subs. I have not read anything, uh, Fitz, about the Wigan situation, but I did see somebody say, don't sign Classy. And if you, if you have an actual fleshed out opinion, I do want to hear it. Tell us the Sao Paulo player. Oh, he, look, he's good. I can't sign him. I don't have that money. I know it sounds sad, but I don't. Zero Fox, thank you for the three months and congrats on toasting your bacon in the chat. Oh, you want to look up? Tell us. I thought Second you were. Second month back again. See, I had no idea where this guy's gonna be. Stewie with the gifted Denevsky. Thank you so much, Eternal Stewie, for throwing down the gifted sub. Is it Classy like four foot? He's five seven. The Classy is the same height as Messi. Classy is the same height as Messi. What's up, Giannini? Or Gianni? Sorry, I added some ins and eyes and all over the place. I need help. He's an advance forward. Help! What 
tell us who we're looking for, Mishy. <laughs> Mishy, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Yes. Classy is messy, says Austin Busby. God, I hope. Does it, you know, he doesn't quite look like it, but looks can be deceiving. I should just sign him just to be safe. Mishy, make sure you get the subscriber section of the Discord as well. Hey, oh, I forgot the... While we wait for somebody to tell us which tell us we're looking for. Words. Hi, YouTube. We didn't start the second recording. But starting the second recording is always a nice way to say hi to YouTube. It's all saved for posterity because people always ask me, where's all the Bate stuff? And I was like, I wasn't cool enough to record it back then. So now I record everything that we do. And you get to say hi to your future self every time. Hi, YouTube, you suck. Whoa, bro. Bro. Yo, hold. Bro. Homie. Bro. Oh, hey. Watch it. Tell us. Mamma mia, papa pia. I have no idea where he is, who he is. Talus Magno. Please be Talus Magno, baby. I want you back. I want. Okay, we're gonna get distracted. I. God, we haven't advanced, dude. <sighs> Hi, YouTube. This is your mom. Go clean your room and watch Zed when you are ready doing that. <laughs> you haven't even done for the 10 months. Stern words. What should I do with player who have huge contract don't want to play and also don't want to transfer to other club? Four months, baby. When did you sign Ozil? Thank you for the four months, Vladis. They don't want to play. I've never had a player that doesn't want to play in Football Manager. I've had a player that wanted to leave really bad so that they didn't want to play because they wanted to leave, but I've never had a play or not want to play and not want to leave. I didn't know that was possible in the game. You know what I mean? I think we can delay it. Hopefully we can finish, finish scouting D'Onofrio because if D'Onofrio has seven marking and eight tackling, I'll sign him. If he has three marking and four tackling, I won't. You know, and if his passing is 16, I probably won't. If it's 18, I probably will. Right, so there's a lot of things that are in the air on D'Onofrio, who's the other potential like defensive midfielder. And it's not Jordy Classy. One month to go. What place did you finish? 11th. But we were three points out of seventh. We lost our two matches. We went from seventh to 11th. We were like 18 points clear of any relegation zone, which was what we're really proud of is that we played really well. Dasa, thank you for the eight. Hunting that Twitch child. It's a big commitment. Oh, shoot. Come on, I even got on that one early. Francesco Gordon. God, I love the United States. Francesco Gordon. What? What a name. What a name on this lad. Francesco Gordon. He's unimpeachably, unimpeachably good. He's a peach. Why is... Why is impeach... What did peaches ever do to anybody? Why are we impeaching things? We could be imappling things. Nobody likes apples. I mean, somebody likes apples, but you don't like the person that likes apples. Peaches? I don't eat a lot of peaches. But there's like unimpeachable. That's... Mm. I feel like there should be some sort of activist rights group for peaches. It's all up at arms about this. I'll, I'll get in touch. I'll get in touch with them. <laughs> I, I need to bring my point in front of the masses. This is ridiculous. KZ, up the hammers. Mr. TJ, thank you so much for the four months. I refunded it back to myself and I'm going to redo it as I found the name now. Talis Vonder Santos Ribeiro. Goodness. Okay. That's amazing. Mods are, these mods are corrupt. Oh, there he is. Oh, this dude's not living. He's in, he's still in Brazil for a team I've not heard of in the third division of Brazil. What did you do to him? He like never played for Sao Paulo and eventually joined Iparanga for free. 
where he is like a pretty good player in the third division of Brazil. The poor, the poor guy made seven appearances. He scored whoop! He scored seven appearances and scored four goals. Give the kid a chance. He played one match in 2025 as a substitute. He played, he played one match as a substitute and scored two goals and you released him on a free. What did you reckon is the most important mental staff for defenders? Um, positioning is very important. Composure and concentration, very important. Uh, it's more important to just not have terrible aggression and bravery. You know, if you have great aggression and bravery, that's awesome. But if you have terrible aggression and bravery, it can be a real problem. Outrageous. Outrageous. I'm scouting him. He's worth 300, he's 21 years old. He's worth $325. He scored two goals in a substitute appearance in the top flight of Brazil. Sure, I'll be the one that's interested. It's me, I'll look into it. Whatever. Names in 2050, Zexonius Doraba Del Fuente Medeiros. Love it. Yeah, we are going to scout him. Ronaldo Tavares, most goals scored for my third tier team all the way through the first. I love it. And Dante Van Zanier. And here we go. Wow. Lucas Diaz, Canadian superstar Lucas Diaz. Okay, wait, this dude's like a freak. He's so fit. Oh my God. You just have to see it. This man has washboard abs with that natural fitness. He rolls out of bed, genetic lottery, right? Yo! Boom! Gratata! Ska! That's 3-1 over Bournemouth. You read that right. Birch, thank you so much for the two months. I appreciate it. He doesn't roll out of bed, he flies. There is no Ronaldo Tavares left in this game. I do not know what to tell you. Ronaldo Tavares. I don't know how this is possible, but Cape Verde and Portugal have not combined to produce one human being named Ronaldo Tavares in the new database. So if we could, re uh, if we could refund Sergio, that'd be awesome. There is a Dante Vanzier though, at Rijeka. He's 27 years old. He got his loan at Mechelen, and then Sen Gilwa signed him for free, got promoted to the Jupiler Pro League with him as a starting player. He has a big season in the Jupiler Pro League. Rijeka buys him, and he's a very regular player for one of the best clubs in Croatia that seems to actually be kind of spinning down through the European ranks, second, third, fourth, but he's had a good career at Rijeka. Over seven each year, uh, at least 7.342 years. He's got a goal in one appearance this year as the season's just getting underway. Well, the Korean international center back is out <laughs> for three months with a broken foot. God. F Focus on your recovery, Park Jisoo. Nothing says excellent recovery like a 31 year old former international recovering from a broken foot. God. Freaking Bournemouth heard him. 
He got injured by Bournemouth. I hate it here. <sighs> Man. We had just gotten comfortable with our center back situation and this dude goes and just heave hose himself out of here. Breaks his foot, never gonna play. He's never gonna play for the team. He's gonna come back and get hurt again. I feel it. I'm a believer. Where's Barrientos? Let's let's remove the unavailables from the game. Um Barrientos. Alright, let's just run him and Harry's. I think. Like, not for this game. We'll go Barrientos Maglor, but like. Gah! Shoot, man. Shoot. That is so frustrating. Bournemouth! Slap a walking boot on him. He'll be fine. Easy, dude. No problem. Rough day, rough day on the friendly pitch. More bacon for me. I'm a Bournemouth fan and I'm sorry about the Korean dude. I accept your apology. It's okay, I know you didn't mean it. Thank you for the four months, Andre Medri. Medre, Medrei. Only two months away from Silver Bacon. You've accumulated four months, stacking it. It's cooked and cooked again. What's up, Hunter? I need to uh, maybe look at acquiring another center back because now we have Maglor, Gioria, Madhouse are our reserves. We have Harry's and Barrientos who are our starters, I'm guessing. Or we run Harry's and Maglor, which we literally ran last year, which all I'm trying to, to do is avoid running the same center back tandems as last year, but here we are. <sighs> Gioria and Madhouse, we're selling Gioria. So Matt and Madhouse is like deep cover only. That dude should never play. And if he does, it should be, you know, it's a one-off. Now, Tong Shun's still around the team whenever he's not hurt. Leave me alone. Actually, I can solve this. This dude sucks. We don't need to trial him. Ibrahima Barrette. You, on the other hand, you have my interest. Just making sure he's not on some sort of short list. Well, that was an eventful day. That was one day. That whole... <sighs> I miss anything? Yeah, Park G. Sue's out for three months. Other than that, we're having a wonderful time. To the scouting! Dude. Do 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 Ah, Carlero, man after my own heart. Just kidding. It'll own one end, right? What we gotta do. Hitting that cooked bacon Z and Z Yanksy. Hey! Mictor! Thank you for the three months. Congratulations on your cooked bacon. just going to sign Eduardo Mello. We're just going to reach in and grab one of our trialists. Brandomir Kalaik is too slow. It 
It's like a matchup defense almost. Mies Creakles. Your parents need to be fined. Knees creakles. <laughs> Stop laughing at somebody's name. God. So inconsiderate. This kid's pretty good. I mean... It's not spectacular, but... Guess what? Another left-footed center back. All of a sudden, I can't get a right-footed center back to save my life. I think we just signed the uh, the old the older guy, Branimir Kalaika. Brings the ball out of defense. Let's go, Kalaika for the win. He's look, not fast, but strong and aerial force. Like, good on the ball. Okay, squad player. He's gonna want a bunch. Oh, damn it! I. Oops. I know Mies Creakle's a real player. It's just insane. Baker, thank you so much for the prime. And I see the player redemptions. We're gonna we're gonna look at those guys in a second, but just saw the keeper score a goal from his own box in Portugal. Have you seen it yet? Yes. I mean it happens. Like wind and keepers off their line, misreading a bounce, like that is the only way to score from your box. Come on, if I can get him to take like that, sell on fee percentage, no. See, I won't be able to, but I could probably get him to take 98. No, I'd like a low twos. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, you clearly didn't go to a class on negotiation. Oh, man. The eye! Ah! Oh, it just, wow. Okay. Brandomir Kalaika, and then we also could be looking into Eduardo Melo. Uh, their teams interested, Lawson Sport, Paderborn. There's two teams I respect in terms of their quality. Um, I was Paderborn can be in the Bundesliga sometimes. If they were in the Bundesliga, I was going to sign him yesterday. Anticipation and composure hurts. He's not strong, but he's good in the air, right? He's not that good with the ball. Uh, his vision is three. Uh, I'm pretty sure he wears contacts. Which do you want? I want to be played as a central defender. Strength in the following areas. Uh, okay. But no. Let's see if we can get both of them under contract. And then uh, we'll do a comparison. Probably only sign one of them. I think it totally depends on... Yeah, it depends on a lot of factors. But this guy, Amelo, is going to be younger and cheaper. Which is going to make him attractive, which again means that I am considering signing a left-footed center back. And I need a right-footed center back that isn't Tyler Maglor to play on this team at some point in my life. At some point in my life. Will you be watching USA-Mexico Olympic qualifying match tomorrow? I will. The U.S. Now, for one, when did the Dominican Republic become not the worst team in CONCACAF? like down, you know, battling hard with the U.S. Virgin Islands. Like when we took the U.S. 65 minutes to score against Dominican Republic and we're not the only team, they were playing pretty well. They look like an actual team. If you don't know, the CONCACAF Olympic qualifying is going on right now, so that's what we're talking about. Your academy created anyone good yet? One marginally good person. TNT's manager headbutted his press officer and Belize national team was almost attacked in Haiti. Is this the most CONCACAF week ever? And what other concacaf -y things will happen in the World Cup qualifiers this week? Jamaica is going to beat everybody. He's illegally blind. We finished 11th last season, our first year in the top flight. We're expecting Europe from our team this season. Even though the team itself expects and it, it would be disappointed, quite honestly, if it didn't get relegated. The players give the impression that they would be tragically disappointed if we were not relegated from the league this year. That, as I understand it, is where we're at. I cannot... Freaking believe Park Jisoo got hurt. I I cannot believe Park Jisoo got hurt.
This is one of those things where, like, if I had to pick everybody on my team that I didn't want to get hurt, Park Ji Su was probably third highest on that list of, like, guys I needed to be a bedrock. I needed to play every game. God, really? That's just how it works, though. I finally put in the offer, and then somebody's like, wait a second. Wait a darn homie. Wait a second. Let me put... <laughs> There's actually a meme that describes this pretty well. Let me go to... It was on Out of Context, I think. Great Twitter follow if you haven't. There it is. Every time a big team when I make a bid for 17-year-old Tunisian that I spent hours looking for, this is what just happened. I finally put an offer in on this center back and everybody's just like... They're like, oh, yes. Sporting Gijon's Yeros Djurjic. I am so intrigued by this guy because he's just, like, good at different things that should theoretically still make him good. Strength is an unbelievably important attribute. We've done studies on this that strength, when you are, like, high strength, is more dominant than any other single individual attribute in the game. Uh, flair and work rate is a fantastic attribute. It's a top 10 attribute in terms of being able to influence the game. And so this guy works incredibly hard. He's super strong, right? He's creative. He's not unathletic. Uh, the problem is, though, do you justify playing this guy in a one striker system? I can't. Um, but if I'm playing him next to a skilled player like David Polito, I think it could work. And so I want, I want to explore the amount of money he would want. Because I feel like if he wants 450000 I'm just going to be like, no. It, but he does want to be the vice captain of the club, which I'm also going with no. And you know what, man? In two years, you'll maybe be a regular starter. You know, when you're 33, I can't believe that worked. Yeah, he wants 400,000. I think we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna have to let him go, chat. I think we're gonna have to let him go. To quote the birds in that meme: "Mine, mine, <laughs> mine, 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 mine." Souls. Thank you so much for the four months. And Donovan, welcome to the Hammers. Thank you for the tier one. All right, let's uh, let's look these players up because I will eventually forget. Liam Reddy. He's at Merther. He was assigned to photo because he's young, but he left Derby County on a free to the National League North and he has been a very regular player for Merther for two years. So solid. Dude's probably at picking up a... He's semi-pro. Okay, but he's like... He kind of sucks, though. Like, in National League North, he's struggling. 6.53, 6.65, right? He's got... But he's also... He's just 19. So, Liam Reddy's got some time. He can turn a corner, right? Alex Mighton said Arsenal. Hey, who the heck is this? He's an American! Why do I not know who this is? at Nottingham Forest, just getting into the team, breaks into the Premier League team after promotion at Nottingham Forest. They get re-relegated, and then he's a regular player for two years. Arsenal throw down the cash, $32.5 million for him, and he steps in, plays 13 Premier League matches last season. Alex Mighton, I dig it, bro. He's living. Straight living. He's not a good finisher. There are more important things than that. I'm starting a late Orient save on FIFA. Makes me be like, this is close enough to Oriental Dragons. But it's FIFA, though. You ever done a Porto save? No, I did Sporting one time, which probably doesn't make you feel any better. It's the region I have in the game. Oh, nice, dude. Well, he's struggling a little bit, but congrats. Mine, 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 mine. Stop, stop it. Leave me alone. It's ridiculous, man. It's absolutely ridiculous. I 
a salary of 279 a year. I that's not what he asked for. Uh bro, it's not what he asked for. Enzo Vico. Let's check out his potential at least. I don't really care about the squad numbers. Auto assign. Anybody got preferred numbers? Arlie Mercia should not be getting his preferred number. Come on. Promised him squad number five. Yeah, no, I don't care. Why would like, why would it, when I auto assign the number, why would it not give him the number? I literally promised him the number. Why would Arlie Mercia get four Cheers also? Dude's not, he's not a regular player. Our starting goalkeeper gets 99, which is Kieran O'Hara. He gets 99. Our star striker gets number 12. I don't know why so many people want number 12, but in, a, in tradition of Eric Mendez, Star Striker gets number 12, which means we have to get rid of the unavailable limitation. Hong Shun gets number two because he asked nicely for it. Where's... Where's my boy? David Polito gets 12. Those are the two numbers we have to set. Daver Polito gets number 12 as our star striker, our number one going forward. Yeah, they, oh, they gave him nothing. What? If, I, if, it, if the offer was under 41,000, I would have given it to him the, weeks ago. Went at 400. Have any opinions of the non-EU rules in Syria? I find them really frustrating. That's the opinion that everybody has about the non-EU rules in Syria. They're frustrating and annoying, and quite honestly, the country could use some more diversity, so it wasn't so jacked up about the whole thing. Maybe that's why. All them people getting all worked up about nothing. Mario Balotelli was your best player. Leave him alone. He's an exciting young prospect, not far from first team level. Oh, well, now he's much more exciting. If this dude wanted 100,000, I wasn't going to give it to him. He wants 15,000. He's not only the most underpaid Argentinian in the entire world, but he's completely worth signing. Yeesh, dude. Zealand, you should check Aziz Yakubu. My dude, I've seen you ask like eight times. If I checked everybody, though, that was shouted out in the chat as somebody to check, uh, then we would literally never do anything else on stream. We would all not have fun and we would die unhappy. And so there is a redemption, 20,000 channel points, and we will take the time to go look up the players. The only point of that is to make sure that we only look up players that you really want to look up uh, and it doesn't eat up too much time of the actual stream while still being able to look up players that you really want to look up. That's the logic behind it. Then that's that's it. I got you, Suma. What's the aim for the season? Europe. I would like uh, top five. We, we like Europe is the aim for the season. I know we can get there. We should be able to get there. Uh, our team is significantly improved from last season. We we should be able to get to Europe. We will be very disappointed if we do not get into Europe this season. We will be very disappointed. We have three more friendlies left. A bloodbath of an off season. Aziz, it's Aziz Yakubu, Shaka Malanga. Thank you for spending your 20,000 channel points. You know my favorite thing in the game is 6-6 six, six quarter with 19 jumping? Absolutely. Which game update is it the newest one? Yeah, not the latest update to the database, but the latest update to the game overall, yes. You should look up a guy called Park Jisoo, decent veteran center half, bit injury prone. <sighs> Europe is in Europa? Yeah, that would be nice. Somebody, uh, can you refund Ja for the Azizi Kubu request? Rodrigo Fernandez, that's fine. We're never gonna make moves on him. Yeah, see, look, the the 
The fee required is 3.6 million. God, nobody put an offer in on the last time. I should stop. Ah! We got enough goalkeepers. I'm good. I've been collecting these high potential goalkeepers and they're already in the team and they're already working to improve and you don't have five-star potential and come on. What am I supposed to do with that, Holmes? What am I supposed to do with that? Listen to your podcast with all caught. Why do players leaving their teams in Europe and their fans being okay with it? I think the big reason is money here in Europe. We don't have max contracts uh, like the US where the player can earn much more somewhere else. Here's my thing, right? If you listen to the latest episode of the Zealand podcast, we talk about how it's so weird to me that Lewandowski can move from Dortmund to Bayern and get a standing ovation at Dortmund. Like we would boo him out of the building, right? We would be furious if you did that in sports just because they're not a max contract. I mean, it happens in baseball too. Baseball, there's no max contracts. Baseball is like world football in the sense that there are no max contracts. You can get paid whatever the team can afford, you know, that sort of thing. And I, it's just bad. Like, yeah, if you're, if you play for, you know, Dynamo Zagreb and Arsenal comes in or Barcelona comes in and says, you hey, want to sign this guy from Dynamo Zagreb. You go, right? Because there's no way in a million years that Dynamo Zagreb, not in football manager, but like in real life is going to be able to reach that level and pay you that kind of money. Even if the club can eventually reach that level and pay you that kind of money, it's not going to be worth it uh, because you're going to be waiting around for the club to reach that level for so long. And so you leave and you go, you get your big paycheck. And when you go back and you play a road match at Dynamo Zagreb, you get a standing ovation. I have no problem with that. Dortmund can pay it. Dortmund gets more fans per game than Bayern. Right? They're in the same competitions. Germany hands out money like it's candy in the league system. Lewandowski's move from Dortmund to Bayern is not like this huge pay raise. Dortmund isn't paying people peanuts, right? Dynamo Zagreb isn't either, to be honest. You know, those guys are making up, uh, up, up to maybe a million a year. But still, the ass man taken, Tolino. Yes, the ass man is taken. Hula, thank you so much for the tier one and welcome to an elite online gaming community. Okay, so we got a couple of staff things. We gotta we gotta get this handled now. But that's that's my that's my thought process on that. It, it's just like Bayern is so much more merch income though. I'm just Bayern run the league though. Bayern needed a 90th minute goal to beat that Dortmund team in the Champions League final. I don't understand it. How Dortmund can get that close and go, well, guys, we gave it a good go. Time, you know, like, you're good enough to be the second best team in the world. You're two minutes away from being the best team in the world. And then he leaves and you're like, great service to the club. Oh, what a favored son. Shut up. Come on, have some pride. And I, this is the thing that Dortmund fans do have pride. I just don't understand it. I just don't. Because there's no way, right? That Dortmund couldn't have paid that wage. Obviously they could have. They're in all the same business. Yeah, Bayern runs the league. Okay, so did PSG. They're losing right now. It's not like they're infallible. Bayern just does really good business and corners the market on the league. Bayern's a bunch of uppity idiots. They're not idiots, but they are uppity. Idiots was pushing it. They're clearly not dumb. They do wonderful business, but they're very uppity. And there's a reason that hubris is a mortal sin. Because if Dortmund manages, which it won't, again, to keep this incredible core of young players it has together, it would walk Bayern for the next 10 years. Hula, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Smolnino. All right. Catching up on things. Igor Akinfeyev. I have no idea where he is, but he's the worst goalkeeper in the world. Is that? Oh, that's just too fitting. Isn't that just too fitting? He is the head coach of Seska Moscow. 
which he posts that he took immediately after retiring after 20 years in the team for Seska Moscow. That's just too good. That is just too good. After all that, Aziz Yaku uh, Yakubu is not... Oh, I spelled it wrong because I'm a fool. He's a free agent, actually. Hey, you want a trial? Aziz Yakubu with stuff with dreams are made of. He got loans. Depraia played pretty well. Chavez played sparingly. Did okay. Guimaraes uh, brought him back. He didn't really play that last year. Then free down to the third Bundesliga in Germany at Magdeburg, where he was released uh, after two seasons of slightly above average play, honestly. It's probably not going to be good enough to be in around the first team, but happy for him. Tolino, the ass man is taken. Do you have any other ideas for what you would want to be? Secret owner of Seska Moscow. He is, kind of. Igor Pogenfeyev. This man's a genius. How did he come up with that one? He asked for GM. Got it. Also already taken, though, so we need, need something else. Assistant coach is Pone's order. The GM is Katten Bakorls. Still. Kitty litter in German. No, no idea why. Yeah, I already knighted. I already knighted them. I sent them the messages. Aisle. They're all set. It's not a public affair. Well, here we go. First sub not given to me by the legendary Mombat. Shout out to all moms and to everyone. Don't forget to call your moms once in a while. What a nice guy. Thank you for being a great person on the internet. I thought you did that, Isle. The command thing. I thought you did that. I thought you were talking about it earlier. Chat, which team do you think will convince Holland to play for them? Real Madrid, probably. You seen the fact that Bale wants to go back to Madrid? Sure, yeah. Kind of surprised by it, but... Also not, right? Also not. See if I'd be a good fit at the club, says Snoopy Looker, looking for a, a staff member, an analyst of some kind, perhaps. Like recruitment analysts, like our fine Francisco Salazar. Maybe, uh, well, Parfait's already, <laughs> Parfait's already taken the other one. What, what about Bob Ross has obviously already been taken. So, uh, recruitment analyst Francisco Salazar is now Snoopy Looker. Just a very good, you know, person at analyzing data, able to find people that most people are just aren't able to find. We appreciate that. Savio, the 21-year-old, is at Juventus. This man's living. Atletico Monero, he breaks into the first team. He starts balling out. He goes to Juventus for 20 and a half million after he's uh, a feature player at Atletico Monero. Steps into the first team in Serie A the next season. 13 appearances, a 7.27 rating. This guy has exploded onto the scene. Had a big season, then a bit of a slower season. Clearly some injuries as he went down to the U23s, but played well. 7.46 and the value is outrageous. 21 years old, 63 million. That was, that. that's a baller right there. Stefan Bayram, a 22-year-old Romanian who's made the move to Lille from Krajova. Where he broke into the team, 36 appearances, and then plays next season and gets bought by Basel. At Basel, he's a regular player in the first team. January transfer over to Lille for nine and a half million, where he steps right into the first team. And this guy is definitely one of the best Romanians in the world at this point. At 22 years old, he is out there making plays, taking names. One year. Time flies, even though I'm not that active here. Joe Helmer, thank you so much for one year as part of the Hammers. On the defensive efficiency screen, what's the best way to get my team into the quiet, impenetrable area? Uh, quiet 
is not pressing. So active is looking to get into passing lanes, getting into challenges, getting farther up the field. Oh, did we just get a match scheduled in the Allianz? Yeah, okay. The League Cup. The League Cup has just bounced our schedule, so let's uh, let's remove this last friendly as well. Cancel. And let's get ourselves fit, and we've got a match to play. The Tasha de Liga Allianz Cup. Easy for you to say. See, some of these trialists actually wanted to come check it out. It's easy. Kubu's all game. Danilo Honshark. Okay. It's easy. Kubu. It's actually not terrible. All things considered. Yeah, we need to realign this. We need to realign this week of training. So we have completed our preseason with injuries and fitness not achieved. It's awesome. Week realigned, ready to play. Ah, competitive matches. Bless us all. Yeah, I'll start it later, I'll. We do need to figure out who Tolino wants to be though. Best judging potential scout available. Hot prospect me in the US. You don't get to pick where you go. That's the boss's job, okay? That's the, you know, ah, beefy. The telling you highest potential scout left available. Got it. Isn't quiet a lack of opposition shots? That would make less sense, right? Style and I already knew that. I just misspoke, by the way. Hey, chat, my first stream. Where is the cat jam emo? I need to be ready to participate. Ollie, love it. Love it. How's our record this preseason? Pretty good. We just beat Bournemouth. The problem is they injured one of our best center backs, but. Quiet as your keeper isn't working. There's a way to bring it up, right? Why well, the league hasn't started yet, so we have no reference point. Well, if they're gonna land Castellanos, it's gonna be for three million. It's not gonna be for that chump change. Okay, this kid has real ability. I'm gonna make sure we throw some money on the table here. We need to we need to put money on the table for Orozco so that Portuguese third division team can't come in with the cash. I'm just going to keep rejecting this because Castellanos is not indicating that he really wants to go there. God, now we get... Huang Shuran isn't going to be able to play in this match. Come on. You playing in Europe this season? No. Uh, we were we were out of range down the stretch. We let ourselves down in the middle of the season, but it was our first year up. Uh, this year, where we've been able to kind of overhaul the team, we've just got more talented across the board. We've just gotten more talented, and we are hoping... And with that increase in talent, it's going to be... We're, we're, we're instead of having to compete in every match, we should be a step above the lower teams in the league. We need to play like that. The problem is the team doesn't believe that we're that good, so we're going to have to create that belief over the course of the season. It's a weird lad. Joaquim Nataro, certainly a good player. At Casapia, no less. Didier Duque. All right, scouting reports are in. We move. Someone said you should steal a center back from Bournemouth as retribution. I believe this is the only proper course of action. You believe it's the only proper course of action. It makes sense. They injure our center back. We steal one from them. Judging player potential, Robert says. It's, a, it's like an eight-way tie. We'll go ahead and give you Roberto says. Tolino, absolute pleasure to have you on the staff, man. Welcome. Snoopy Looker and Tolino added to the scouting staff as a recruitment analyst and scout. 
I am very optimistic about the future. What are the game's uh, season league predictions? How many leagues do you send? We have every league loaded, but this is a, a super computer. Oh, I gotta do this a particular way. So I'll let us... And so it's able to handle it, okay. Does a good job with it. Mamba just timed out him, Chester. Boom. Worked. L-O-F-C Mall. Thank you for the tier one, by the way. Welcome to the Hammers. I, and I didn't give an appropriate shout out. So if we could... If we could just take a moment and appreciate that Hula gifted a sub 11 minutes ago. Thank you. Thank you. We unveiled the attributes of Isaac's success yet. I'm so glad we didn't spend so much money on this guy. We really were enticed to spend a load of money on Isaac's success. We almost did, but we didn't, and it was worth it. Our class is things going to be there. Now the Ukrainian clubs want that Ukrainian guy. Thomas Gehring, thank you for the two months. Hey, mate, what's up? Thank you. $10 of Jeff Bezos' money you just spent right there. And Buzz Busiest Barons also spent $10 of Jeff Bezos' money with two months on the Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Hammers. Isaac's success. He doesn't bring success. He's a bit of a disappointment. I can understand why his parents didn't want to name him Isaac Disappointment, like you want to be an optimist, but he's letting himself down a little bit here. Chikezi Alozi. One of the better players in the first team available for something that would be in my price range. All right, I'm interested. 20-year-old striker Martin Martin Vega. Somehow, some way, his lack of potential is going to talk me out of even considering that move. Lee Monkeet. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. We've started scouting another guy from Macau. It's incredible. He has an off chance of not being terrible, too, which is by far the most remarkable part of this whole thing. But there might be two wingers from Macau that are not the worst thing ever. Yeah, Dennis Burkowski, you don't want to come on trial. You've already got a contract. Well, then leave me alone. I've started to use analyst reports as my way, main way of finding players because I can get about 60%... 60 reports done each month, then scout the best. Am I crazy? No, that's genius. That's really good, and it's something I've underutilized for a long time. Hi, Sexy. I watched your last year while I was working from home. This year, I was not, but Brazil is a mess, and I'm back in the home office. Glad I can watch you again. Yes. Welcome back. I'm glad the chaos has returned you to me. We're going to have to play two youth players again. Does that mean we're breaking out Robin Wolpelier again? Does that mean that we're breaking out Robin Wolpelier again? The greatest player of all time. Do you get any success with the asymmetric formation? Yeah, all the time. Isaac average achievement. That's what, uh, well, that's what his friends call him. Macau, the hidden gems, the hidden gem of the East. Two players that aren't poverty level. New computers here? You didn't build your own computer? No! Oh, Carlos Lario has signed a new deal. Dude, I thought that was going to be a longer injury to another player that we signed to improve the team this year, and I was going to be like, hmm, which one of you hacked into my database? So this guy just scored a sick goal that somebody sent me. Was it on... It was on Instagram. Let's see if I can find it. Let's 
Somebody sent me a goal that Joka just scored. Joka obviously being on our team. He's a player of real quality, this Joker. All right, so this is like him celebrating and such. This is the goal. This is Joker right here. Whoop! Whoop! Hey! Ah! Uh. Well, he could do that. If he could do that for my team, that'd be awesome. But he can't. Little saucy minx. The cutback straight into the Rabona just bottom corners it. Oh, yeah. Easy. Easy. Felt real comfortable. Sauced it. Pablo Nervaez. How? Why does Porto got that guy? He's not, gonna, he's not good. He's not going to be good. Finished scouting George Byers. Thank goodness. What a waste of time that was. I need to shower after that filth. Yo, Wacker, thank you so much for the eight months as part of an elite online gaming community. You have a Twitch baby coming in one month. I hope you're ready. Start building the crib. Where's the term Rabona come from? I'm assuming it was a player. How weak must your weak foot be to need a Rabona? Ask Lamella. The dude hasn't completed a pass with his right foot all season, which is one of the most entertaining facts in world football at the moment that Eric Lamella has not completed a pass with his right foot all season. Has not completed a pass with his right foot all year. Outrageous. How is that possible? How is there not just one of those little like one twos where you just ramp it? You don't even have to pass it. It's Spanish slang. Oh, that works too. It is, it is true. One of those like news sites like um, Bleacher Report or something on Instagram posted and like posted the stats. That's where I heard it. And they had like a graphic with him like just having no right foot actually like edited out of the picture. Because he has not completed a single pass with his right foot. Chinese goalkeeper just got signed by Fiorentina. Yeah, yeah, they're unhappy with the standard of strength coaching. I get it. I understand. Another beauty from the Tunisian League that's about to get ruined by... Oh, come on. Another Tunisian League team's trying to sign him? Nice. We got a Rosco. This guy's got really good potential. I just hope he can develop without getting game time. Because if he can develop in these... Like, in this training facility without game time, he's a miracle. He's a miracle of humanity. Orozco registered Hovsepian registered um, Moises Diniz he's a first year senior player he doesn't count against anything for us Emmanuel Ajisoa registered Just haven't gone through that in the latest round yet bring the show down home this time baby Do, do. It's a good find. We're already scouting him. We're already scouting all these guys, right? I'm at Belem. I mean, need to. Think, Zealand. Think. This guy's actually within a year. Striking distance. K 
Kingsford Frimpong. How are there so many of these dudes in Africa? It must be the huge database where like... According to mom, but you received a package a week ago that needs revealing. Also, yay, seven months. I, I do. It's sitting on the floor next to me. I've forgotten to open it in the last two streams. Thank you for the seven months, no Pocky. Thank you for translating what Mombot is saying, because she's right. I have a package on the floor that we should open. Farouk Mamouni. Step into the first team when needed. I know, that's why we're scouting and we want to figure out how good he is, but he's about to get signed by another Tunisian team, which is going to block us, which we don't like. Classy, we can delay one more time. I mean, we just signed a Rosco. Isn't that technically okay? A lot of these trialists that have been coming in recently, I think it's because we're a solidified top flight team, have been solid. Like these young guys, they have they have potential. I think we can really start to build out our U23s, our B team. We can really start to round those rosters out. Now, financially, we really shouldn't be floating all of that, but we should start to round it out. Yaya yeah, Colo, bring the show the showdown home this time. That's right. On Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday, we will be partaking in the streamer showdown, which if you've never seen before, it's an experience unlike any other. It's also just a lot of fun. Um, Benedetto Petrini, this is the type of dude that you just go and sign right away. How much money do you want? Who did you play for? Palermo? But like, bad Palermo? So you shouldn't want a lot of money, right? This is going to be a highway robbery type of contract where we just stretch this out to like four years. I'm thinking four years and I'll pay you 21. Oh, yeah. Oh, worked. Worked. Big acquisitions. Big acquisitions on tap. Yeah, I think it's time for this guy to hit the road, Jack. And don't come back. Same with you, Lautaro Blanco. You're doing nothing for me. What's in the box? Right. Give me a box! Uh. Uh. Alright. I've received this box. It's actually not the only box I've received. I've received two boxes from you people. Ah. Uh. Yeah, let's... Actually, I have the technology to do this. Okay, hello. Let's check this out, right? Okay. Okay. I need a knife or something. I should have one. I have a knife. Where is it? Ah! Ah! Oh my god, why does he have that knife? For this, honestly. Okay, it's... Oh, there's papers everywhere. Um... Ah! One, two, three, these are... A gift. Seeing as you broke the first one from Max Chester. That's what it says. It's too bright. A gift for you, seeing as you broke the first one from Max Chester. Okay. Assuming that applies to this new stress banana that I just got. Squeezy banana, dude! Oh, huge. How huge is this thing, though? Because this is so heavy. I just hit the space. Dude, there's like 40 stress bananas in here. No, there's like 10, but 12. There's 12 stress bananas in here. Wow. Chester with the outrageous clutch. A whole box of stress bananas. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, wow. Oh, what a time to be alive. Nobody expected the stress banana. Unbelievable. We're back in the stress banana vibes. Also sent me a uh, Portuguese phrases for dummies. 
Uh... Você está gochinha. Você está gochinha. That means you are a little chubby. Why is that? It's in the section making new friends. I'm not even kidding, dude. Look, in the section is making new friends. The first one I see is you are a little chubby. Second one down. It's a little blurry. But it's just you are a little chubby in the section making new friends. Oh, what a book. What a book. <laughs> making new friends. You are a little chubby. That's the first thing they teach you how to say. That's so incredible. Hey, yo, girl. <laughs> oh, we got a stress banana. Okay, what's in the other box? This one is... Um... I don't even know... Dude, what is in this? This is like the weirdest, like it doesn't return to shape. You just you hear that? It's weird. Okay. I, I don't even, this could just be like my mom sending me something. I, I get a lot of mail and most of the time it's just random things for my mom. But this one has a different name on it. Come on, don't injure yourself remain healthy throughout this procedure there we go okay okay there we go here we go here we go we're, here we're going all right Oop. Oop. okay that's first of it and then number two which would be like let's just start a cut here there we go Easy enough. Ah. It's a Florida State shirt. My brother goes to Florida State. Florida State basketball, boo. <laughs> boo! No, thank you. Thank you, though. No, thank you, Stephen Meyer. <laughs> See, not gonna wear that. What? And thus, we have opened the things. <laughs> that is from your brother. Uh, yeah. Figured that out. Yo, you're still in the tournament. Woo, okay. March Madness is fun. Woo. Rather than United won Isaac's success, they can have him. Who's offered in for Petrini? God. I... <laughs> Stop it! Dude, will you chill? Ariel Munoz. It's not a goal scorer. Kind of a facilitator, but not really, right? Tries killer balls off and dictates tempo. He's a Charlton F. He was a Charlton athletic player in the League One. I think he's not a guy that's going to dramatically improve our team. Kalaika, we're obviously negotiating for. Classy, we're negotiating for. Pavlovich, Michael Pavlovich, left sided player. He's got good creativity. I want to take one more peek at him. Sergio Salt. Everybody's favorite goalkeeper. Best name in the business. Might be clouding my judgment just a little bit. Not important. This guy sucks. Let him go. Let him go. I don't want to see poachers anymore. Can we gamble some channel points in the next game? Absolutely. How about them Ohio? <laughs> what? The Wildcats, I think. Yeah. Okay. So we lost to Ohio. Whatever. I'm not even sad about it. <sighs> By far the three months, fantastic FM streamer. Rock on Zealand. Hey, thank you. Thank you for the three months, Pearls Jam. Thank you for, for sticking around, spending $15 of Jeff Bezos money and being in an elite online gaming community. 
Have you been able to improve your facilities at all through over the course of the save? We are literally improving our facilities for the first time since we turned professional, uh, which means no, we have not improved our facilities. Intel now, we're in the act of, uh, of improving our facilities because it costs like, how much does it cost? It was hilariously low. It was like $80,000 to improve the facilities, which is the lowest I've ever seen because we were one step above the worst facilities you could have in the game. We were that bad. And so it, you know, it didn't take a lot. Jose Alvarez, hey, we are scouting him, which means we'll finally know if we actually like the guy because we can finally scout the whole world. <gasps> Nicholas Police say, yeah, well, I think he re-upped for another year, so we're gonna have to wait. Why do you like this guy? He's like a three-star poacher. He's People are interested in him. He's making a bunch of money. He's about to make a bunch more, and I don't see it. Keldy, thank you for the prime. And Slang Orangutan, I love your name. Thank you for the Twitch primes. Make sure you guys get in the subscriber section of the Discord. VC, you got screwed. I mean, somebody was bound to get COVID, right? Like, they get COVID, and then they can't play, and everybody knew that that was something that was probably going to happen. And then it did, and that was it. Getting close to that silver bacon. Love the content and staying on for that gold. Oh, yes, Cat and Bacorals. Thank you for the five. We well, gotta get silver first. You get that next month. It's gonna be a big deal. Try saying Wagwan. No, so I had a friend say Wagwan to me in senior year of college. And he was like, Wagwan. And I was like, you know? He was like, no, I swear that's slang in England. They're like, what's up? I'm like, no, it's not. Shut, no. Wagwan is not slang anywhere for anything. And then of course, I, it's like four years later, I'm hanging out with the lowdown guys. We're just, we're just kicking it. You know, we hang out. I have friends. Shut up. And somebody just says Wagwan and I'm like, nope, hold it. I'm having an existential crisis. And it would make sense that if somebody said it was English slang, then it would be like popularly used in Jamaica too. That would make sense. Castellanos in a Paderborn jersey. They're gonna have to come with more money than that. <gasps> Anarchs. Wow! 23 months as part of the hammers, dude. Ow. Yo. Wagwan. And then they say Ting, like there isn't an H in it. Make fun of Americans for not pronouncing words. Okay. Tang is y'all, basically. So then we get to say y'all and you can't say anything because somebody there's plenty of people out there saying talking about all these tings that they don't, you know. They really like Diego Castellanos. They don't like him enough though, and I don't need the money, so. I would like to renegotiate a contract with Castellanos that does not lower his release clause. But that is the only option that we're given when we attempt to negotiate, and I would like to not lower his release clause and guarantee that he leaves. 3.6 million is what we'll stick at. He's under contract for the next couple of years. Let's sort out our initial starting lineup, which is not going to be our final starting lineup. Uh, but Johan Madrid, you're in, boss. Maglor and Barrientos are unbelievably large beast. Was that dehumanizing? Mildly, but I'm okay with it. Yeah, yeah, Maleje, our, our space eater. Not to be confused with a space heater. Very different. Okay, uh. Faber Polito is, I think, going to be fit for this match. This is going to be great. We're going to have Jules Keita. We need two under 21 Portuguese players in the starting 11. Does Moises Denise count? Uh, no. Subalaga doesn't count either. He's a good player. He doesn't count. Not for this. It's always rob him, dude. Rob him will Pelie again. Where's the other guy? There, there's a wing that I like who should be able to play in this game as one of our Portuguese guys. Elder Mendez, yeah. 
He's not bad. He's going to be around the first team. He's a guy that is going to get time in this game. We're not going to be sad about it. But of course, we're also not sad about playing Robin Wapelia. Obviously. You know this. I guess that's 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 who we're playing. We'll play him in the middle. He's a real shadow striker, you know? He's he's a versatile shadow striker out of the middle of the park. With Elder Mendez and Jules Keita and David Polito, everybody flying around. What the hell are these ads? Get out of the way of my bacon. <laughs> Enough for the ads. That's what he says. Aaron James, thank you for the 10 months. And Yvonne, Evan. Yvonne. Thank you for the three, Evan. Not only, well, then we had Evan, who subbed two months in advance. Thank you for that. You're a hero. And then we had Evan K, who's just subscribed for the, the Evans are piling up. Rob him and Chessie on the wings. Well, Chessie is uh, on international duty. Cody OC's already won. Cancel the match. All right, score predictions, chat. How much do we just dominate this match? I mean, so much, obviously. Do, 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 do. Jeffrey DeLong. Victor Orozco, yay. Hey, Orozco, you are young, vital. Work on your movement. Should be a passer in the team. Should have a different midfielder in this spot. Should it be Lucas Kioza? It shouldn't, but it should be a player like Lucas Kioza. Like Victor Orozco. I need a, I need a defender. Let's go four months. You better win the next streamer showdown, though I can't see you lose again. I can't either. I will not be. I, I wouldn't be able to mentally. I wouldn't be able to take it if we suffered defeat again. Where's Kean Harry's? Why is he not available? He get hurt too. Where the fiddlesticks is Kean Harry's? Harup and Harry's are suspended. That's why they're not available. That must, that's carried over for a long time. Aji Soa is there instead of Pinto because Aji Soa can play both sides. All right, team set, let's go. And then we make sure that they aren't playing in the U19s match that's on the same day because there's no button that can automatically do that. Football manager, are you listening? <laughs> Brendan, thank you so much for the four months of the Twitch Prime. Hell yes, dominate it like Portugal dominated the early colonial world. Love the history. Will Pelier with eight goals and a 7-1 win? You're telling me he scores an own goal? Why did this dude decide to... Mm, he'll actually play there. That's probably... Cool. Just lost out on two guys. We need one of those center backs, which means we need the Croatian because we're not going to get the Argentinian. Honestly, if we get the Croatian, we're going to have... We, we're going to have stacked the deck. I would like to sign this guy now. I would like this guy on my team right now. I feel like I could use him. He's a good passer. His defense is, well, we have no idea. But he's the type of midfielder that I need running next. Like, I need him. He's an advanced playmaker. This is a guy I need. Ah, oh, that's a little steep there, Holmes. Please don't hate me. 
Thank you. It's been an honor to not be hated by you. Ooh. 29. Um, please, we offer him for he is the player that we have hoped to acquire at this stage how oh, f him gods you have smited our two fine players in Park Jisoo and Jules Kater Justice in this moment. Justice. Justice. For we are your loyal servants, FM gods. Grant us the deliverance that only you can. In the name of Eric Mendez, Erling Holland, Huang Shuran, and Joe Lewis, we pray. We're good, we got him. We got him. Two year deal, 239,000. Hyrule Concha. Quality player from Universitario de Lima. Deportes, whatever, it's a Peruvian club. Exactly the type of player that we needed. Boom, snap, crackle, and pop. the center back. So you kidding me? I we we just like central defense. Whenever I whenever I actually sign a wonder kid in central defense, I'm going to lose my mind. Cuz we've had the worst luck with the central defenders. This guy needs a lot of games that I can't give him because he'll be behind like four goalkeepers I like better. <sighs> yeah, the subs need to get out too because guess what? Match is on the same day, folks. Can't play then. Hey, Elder Mendez, why are you so bad? Get out of my office. That's it. 
That was the only that was the only interaction. Hey Elder Mendez. Why are you so bad? Our B team review, Arlie Mercia. Get in! Ye Ben. I'm never getting rid of that guy. Just just for that joke. Guess we didn't pray hard enough. Clearly we did not pray hard enough. Well, we, we got the guy the guy we were praying for. We, we agreed to the contract that I thought was reasonable. But the... Um, both the center backs that we had had on trial for a while as, like, prospective signings both decided to go play somewhere else, and so we're still thin at center back. Rather disappointingly. And uh, we might need to look for some sort of center back loan or, like, we need to do something. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. I, I just gotta wear this stress banana out. First time in the stream. I love your YouTube vids. Honey Sam, welcome. I apologize. I apologize for not praying hard enough to the gods. Uh, the gods for the defense. Uh, you did bring it up too. Kobe Boetz, 22-year-old at Anderlecht who can't get a game. I am inclined to not mess with that. Bogdan Vatagelu. Whoa. 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 This dude is cracked according to the very small scouting report we've done on him. I have no reason to believe that this guy is any good at all, and I will not be paying that amount of money. Oh, he's one of those guys where it's like, oh my god, he plays for an amateur team and he's really good at a few things, but he's not really good at a lot of things. Look at me! I play for an amateur team! I suck! Target for the season is Europe. What position are you most worried about for, or what, what position are you most worried for in the 2026 U.S. Men's National Team? Wow, that's a good question. What position am I most worried about in the U.S. National Team going forward? I think center back. We have Chris Richards, who's going to be a good center back, but I, I just don't think we have a talisman right now that'll be an old John Brooks and Chris Richards. I would love, a, and I feel like it's, I feel like center back is something the United States, like the U.S. should struggle to create attacking midfielders and like skilled midfielders and technical strikers. Like that's what the U.S. should struggle to create. The U.S. should be better at creating center backs. Like the way the game is developed right now in the U.S. should be better at creating center backs. This dude's getting an outrageous amount of money in Kazakhstan right now. Outrageous. Step into the first team when needed is not what we're looking for, agents. We're looking for Dyer McBrood over here who's balling out. Benfica's David Strelik. This dude's not good at all. There's no way he's one of the better players in the first team. Just looking at where he's played and how much he's played when he's there, there is absolutely no way. Let's play a competitive match, dude. Let's play a competitive match. Dial it up. I'm ready to compete. 
That this has been the longest off season of my life. I'm ready to compete. this baby or wait 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 wait, wait. we need to say wait, 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 wait. lower the chill lower the chill we need to set our set pieces right now kevin barrientos is the dude and should be in the spot where the dude is supposed to be at all times because kevin barrientos is and i cannot stress this enough the greatest thing we've ever had happen to us when it comes to set pieces the greatest thing we need new set piece takers. We need we need at least a list of new set piece takers. Like Harup is I think gonna be the main guy. At least on the corners. The free kicks, it'll be We'll have Sepian, who's never gonna play, but if he does, I want him taking kicks. Then Harup. Then Wong Senkao of Macau is apparently an amazing free kick taker. Jeffrey DeLong. Subilaga. We just, we don't have like a starting player who's around as an actual legit free kick taker. Fun. Castellanos should be leading thrower on the left side. No, Madrid. Madrid should be. Yo, who's that? What's up, Basix? How you doing? The, the cat jams have inspiring the team. They can hear it as they run out of the tunnel. Captain's not been selected, but let's do that. Oh, we don't even have a vice captain. Lord. Should we make it Castellanos? Should we just go ahead and make it an 18 year old? Castellanos is not even in the, like, other players section yet. Make it, like, News or Madrid or something. Apparently Twitch has me at 13 months with my sub from Friday and not 12. Also, if Y-E-S spells yes, then what does E-Y-E-S spell? Loves e bags. It spells... Yes! Berg, thank you so much for 13 months, wow. man. Part of the hammers. My cop, Ebanyi. Hello back to the Ukraine. You know what? I'm doing it. I have no, I'm, I'm, this is like literally a test. I have no idea what effect this is going to have on the team. I, I have no, no clue, but I'm doing it. Let's see what effect it has on the team. Castellanos is the vice captain. Orozco gets 26. Welcome to the team. Let's ride, boys. I expect the win tonight. We're playing a second flight team. I, Robin will Pelier's on the field. These are two reasons that we should be dominating. Ah, God. Ah, okay. This is leftover from the live sports. Schultz Kata. 
super excited to see him on the field in an Oriental Dragon shirt for the first time. Attaboy, Barrientos. Look at that domineering aerial presence from our amateur league find in Colombia. Oh, nice ball. Tyler Maglor, who led us in overall average rating last season, which is a fact that nobody would be able to guess unless you've heard me say it before. Wopelier, it's getting saucy. Look at that pass. That was world class. Robin Wopelier is unstoppable. Castellanos, oh. Joka, he's got him. Johan between the lines. Is he on? Oh, well, he was definitely on and definitely should have scored. Good pass. No idea where their defense has gone there. <sighs> Why is it Maglor? It should be Barrientos. Just missed Barrientos. This should be Barrientos. Like he's standing there at the near post. There he is. Let's go. <laughs> chat it's gonna be a great year we're gonna score 85 goals on corners we're scoring 90 goals we're scoring 100 goals on corner kicks this year it took him less than 15 minutes are you selling comprehensive that's a good question no i'm an extended good good question though nice todd shoka Nice ball. Oh my goodness, Mendez. Ooh, turn and burn, baby. God, we're going to score so many goals off corners. Oh yeah, Joka. Oh, Mendez. It was close to being really good, actually. Force him back. For oh, that's a good pass. We were forcing them backwards with our with our pressure style. Yeah, make their center backs make the plays. We're not playing Real Madrid here. Make their center backs play with the ball. There we go. Shoka. Oh, Jules Keita. Take him on. Somebody please teach Mendez where the goal is. Oh, why is he the guy getting literally every chance in this game? And he cannot, he, he is, he, he's allergic to goals. Up the hammer, Skiuma knows what's up. Thank you for the two months. Chubbs, big John boy with the five. One month away from Silver Bacon, man. You're looking good. Don't get complacent out there. Look, we're only up one nothing. It's early in our League Cup experience. You know, we need to... Uh, we need to make sure we stay on it. We got to get to that League Cup group stage again. And we, we got to the League Cup semifinals last year. This is our competition. This is our competition. Oh. Maglor, come on. Nobody can beat him for speed. Look at that recovery speed from Tyler Maglor. Fastest center back in the game. He was so toast on that play, and it just did not matter. It, it just didn't matter. Like, the quick short plays, he's not very good at because he's not actually a good player. But those long developing plays where you have to, like, run and get onto the ball, he's able to just catch all of those. Pure cover center back. That's a goal. Ooh. Come on, where's Barrientos? Does that look Bar... That, that doesn't look like Barrientos to me, Joka. Oh, Castellanos. At least he's so fast, he's going to get a couple of cracks at defending this properly. There's no way he's onside. Yeah. He's offside. We do need, uh, we do need, uh, 
let's see, demand more? Yeah. It's a second division team. We're only up one nothing. It was a corner kick goal. We shanked a bunch of opportunities. Mendez, more specifically, shanked a bunch of opportunities because nobody else in the team can get a goal scoring chance from the run of play for some ungodly reason. That's us. Castellanos, just give it to Castellanos. Jules Keita. Hmm. It's frustrating. Good. Better. Draw him, pass into the middle. Oh my goodness, Maleje. I didn't think he was going to score his whole career. Kind of stung that one, too. We need to make a change. The two Nessie is in. Aziz Ishtiwi. Because we don't want Jules Kata to get hurt. Come on, Jules. Come on, Jules. Oh, yeah, Mendez. I expect... It's a definition of insanity. I expected a different result. The FM game cam is different than usual. You're right. We aren't on our normal sideline. Thank you. It's because we did the live sports save, and so we messed around with some of the stuff. But um, now we're back on it. Thank you. I don't know why I didn't notice that. Oh, my goodness. He's on. Barrientos is trying to play him off on the midfield line. Oh, that's incredible. That is an incredible miss. That is truly incredible. There's nobody there. There was... Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> Unadulterated filth. <sighs> oh, it's disgusting. The Tunesi battling for a starting position drops a dime to Robin Lopelier, who you just know is going to bag a goal, chat. Drops a dime. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, he's hitting the badge. He's hitting the badge. The people know. The people know about Robum Will Pelier, okay? Robum Will Pelier is a League Cup legend. Nobody is ever going to take that from him. I want him to lead this club for all time in most career League Cup goals. He's better than Messi. He's better than Ronaldo. Some have said he's like the two players combined. He has 400 current ability in football manager. It's unbelievable. Nobody's ever seen anything like it before. That's fine. That's such a hard shot. Greatest player ever. He is the greatest player of all time. It's really kind of simple, chat. He's the greatest player in the history of the game. Hi, Zealand. I recently got sacked for the first time in FM. I wonder why that's not an in-game achievement. <laughs> it should be. It's part of the life, RJ. I'm sorry to hear it, but congrats on the Twitch baby. Coming out, kicking and screaming. But here nonetheless, oh, Maleje, I love your work rate so much. It's the only reason that you play at this level of professional football. Oh, Joka. Oh, no, Joka. Don't ruin Ajay Soa's first pass in an Oriental Dragon shirt by being lazy and slow. Barrientos, that was weird. I don't know if I'm particularly mad at anybody for this goal. I mean, Barrientos could have put this somewhere different, but most of the time I'm not super disappointed with that. And the dude's miraculously onside. It's perfectly timed first time back to, like, l unleash him in on goal. Well, Pelier. Oh, beautiful. I'm just... One of the best plays you've ever seen. Robin Mopelier. Oh, they needed four defenders to stop him. Four defenders. 
Here he is again, dropping in, receiving the ball. I mean, it's it's like they teach you right in La Masia. He's got the wing open. Will he? Oh, have it. Oh, what a ball. It's absolutely liquid stuff. Mendez! Oh, he scored. God save the queen. Elder Mendez has scored a goal. And you know, key to the buildup, Rabba Mopilier. Consistently connecting passes. That he was he was gonna not score that again. This dude had 10 shots in this game. Finally bags one, acting like he's the best thing ever, walking around with the one of those, you know. It's like, oh. Didn't know you were didn't know you were like that, Mendez. Elder Mendez. It's no Eric Mendez. Poser. Good boy, Kieran. Good, safe hands. All right. It wasn't a resounding win, but considering the team is far from fit at the moment with injuries to, uh, well... A couple people, no hair, no Harry's, no Harrop, no Harry's, no Harrop, no um, Jules Keda was cleared for 45. I played him 60. Obviously, Park G. Sue's not there. Our midfield is we're, we're still basically figuring out what we want in our midfield. And then this storyline is, oh, Mendez scored in his debut for the club. This kid's unbelievable. He had 12 shots. <laughs> Stop the count. Hey, Elder Mendez better than Lingardino. Hey, Lingard has been really good. Like, st like analytically really good. He's not just getting super lucky. Like he's actually been brilliant. Maxime Sigalko really die? Yeah. Huh. Sucks. Keen Harry stays captain. Diego Castellanos stays vice captain. That's the recommendation. Cool. Oh, I'm in like I'm farming for the rest of the league. I find these guys, bring them in, and then the rest of the league's just like, oh, I'm gonna put in an offer too. Boom, got him. God. <laughs> to wear out the stress banana in a freaking day, dude. I mean, Lingard hasn't been sneaky good the last few weeks or months. He got a call up to the national team. Yossi and chat, hope you've all been gravy, baby. We have been. And now we play Vittoria Guimaraes, who just stole that player from us. I'm just smack him around. I want three points from our season opener at home. Jules Keita should be fully fit by then. I want three points from our season opener. Hey, Z, Xavi or Pirlo? <laughs> Xavi. I was going to deliberate more, but very pressing things have taken my uh, taken my notice. Ladies and gentlemen, we got one. 
All right, I will pay you 150,000 up front. After 50 league appearances, I will pay you another 250,000. Um, after 20 international appearances, I will pay you 350,000. Uh, and after we win the league, if we win the league, I bonus upon winning Liga Nos with a minimum of five games played just to make sure he's not hurt the whole year, uh, we will pay out 450,000. You will actually, no, let's remove that and let's see, what, how do they react to this offer? Okay. I wanna pay 200,000 up front. After winning League and Us, we go back, we put the 450,000. Um, after winning the league, max 10 games played and I'll put 500,000 on it. Let's try that. Okay, now we're now we're talking. Now we're now we're making progress. Two hundred ten thousand. After those league appearances, I will pay three hundred thousand. And if he scores twenty goals in a season, which he will never do, I will also pay you five hundred thousand. Didn't wait it. Dang. We'll go back to 210,000. We will look at the Tasa de Portugal. We'll say, look, if we win the Tasa de Portugal, I will give you 375,000 uh, with an expiration date of the next two years. 10,000 per league appearance. So you want another 100,000 over his first 10 league appearances? I can do that. I can do that. It's basically the next thing that I was going to do. It was, you know, an over the next year sort of payout of fifty to a hundred thousand dollars, and so to make sure that we're going to be able to lock that deal in, I can do that. Somebody's going to offer him again too. Shush. Yasi Gindi. Oh, he's a, he's a shadow striker. No, he's not. He's a wing. Wow, he's 6'3", 180. Oh, man, I want this guy as a shadow striker. Boy, his passing sucks, though. But he is huge, and he's good in front of the goal, and... Let me make an inquiry. Let me make an inquiry. Okay, whoa, Monaco? I have a team. This dude just like chose to play for a national team that doesn't exist in FIFA. I mean, it's not a FIFA recognized team. I'm sure they put a team together, but it's not like actual players. This dude's an actual player. It's not good enough for me, but still, it's interesting. Now finish scouting Victor Bruno. I'd like you to continue that scouting turn. Huge moments, Marco Phoenix. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. And uh, I'm glad I was able to answer that question with the Xavi. How to beat PSG? Look, you got to become the best uh, uh, best team in the world. It has nothing to do with tactics as much as you just have to be, the, you know, you have to be one of the best teams in the world. More Israelis? Hey, that's one Israeli. Does Zealand have region real faces? Does anyone know the name of it? Yeah, I made it. It's, uh, it will, you know, it's some, oh, they accept it. Okay, we are in business. Luis Ortiz. Um, let's go with a kind of a squad player, important player in two years vibe. Uh, how about regular starter? How about regular starter and important player in two years? Okay. Um, what are you currently getting paid? 43. He's going to want more than this. He's going to want probably that relegation salary drop. No contract extension by the club. No, please. I just don't want you to hate me. My, I'm going to go top into my scouts range. Okay, cool. We overpaid. That's much better than accidentally angering him and, and losing him. Luis Ortiz for $210,000 coming in from Colombia. That's the center back we've been looking for. That's the center back we've been hoping for. That's who we've been praying to before we go to sleep every night. All of the hammers. Was him and Barrientos, a Colombian center back pairing. Boom. Did we score four plus the cup? Uh, no, we scored three. Mendez just struggled. It's 18 jumping, but seven heading. Still. Jumping reach is more important than heading. 
How many players do you have in your first team squad? So on my squad view, I can see my U18s, U23s, and B team there as well. And uh, not B team, I, th I think you can actually, but I don't remember. So when you see the squad view, that's not how many players are actually there. I should be getting to the point where I can clean it up a little bit. That's not even his release clause. His release clause is 3.6. We could get that easily. <sighs> hey, what's up? Uh, he has a lot to offer the club. I feel the team would be weakened by his loss. Board appreciate your comments, but uh, we unfortunately decided this offer is too good to refuse. I'm going to strongly disagree. I asked the board yet again to reconsider their position. F you, dude. It's a terrible deal. We could have gotten the 3.6 up front for him. It's a terrible deal. <sighs> the buy now is 75,000. Yikes, dude. Don't like that buy now. 75,000 is no fun. We'll be able to afford it. With the fee we just got for Giorgio. You've been a fantastic servant to the club. Have fun in Australia, man. And Hyrule Conscious in the team. Yay, it's exactly the type of player that we wanted. Yes. Hey, welcome him to the club. We're happy, happy, happy to have this guy on the team. Other, other recent events notwithstanding, we are happy to have Hyro Concha on the team. I think he's going to be a big help. He's definitely going to be a big help. Um, let's figure out his footedness. So he's a right foot only guy. He's actually a pretty good crosser. And so we can start to teach him to play out on the right and out on the left as an inverted winger and somebody that can sit outside, receive the ball, and deliver good passes. Uh, we need to work on his stamina. Endurance, not defensive positioning, endurance. And that's that. Okay. Man! That sucks. They even, they even get to his release clause. The man has a release clause in this contract, and they didn't even get to it. Yeah, yeah, Maleje is going to be... Or Aji Soa, not Maleje. I mix people up. He's going to be there. Emmanuel Ajisoa is going to be the starter on that left side now. Unless we can find some sort of solution. Should probably stop scouting. Harvey Nibs at Cambridge United. Living. Oh, that hurt, chat. We also had that left back that we had an offer in for that then got bounced.
bring in Gonzalo Escobar just it's like a one-off yeah I know we're, we're gonna offer Castellanos out we're just surveying our options first I should address that before chat blows up Wait, 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 wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Do you guys remember? You know, I think I, I think I need to. I think I think I need to go find like. I need to go find somebody that makes you good what? football manager videos. Is that it? Yeah. Well, let's let's just maybe he has something. Maybe he has a video, this dude right here, that is that's gonna help us in this situation. I really wish this guy made a video that's gonna help us. He should have, you know, he probably has, right? He's probably made a video to help us. I just I don't remember where it is. Uh, you know, maybe he has. Maybe he's not. I, dude, where is it? I don't even remember where this is. We're way back here. I mean, that's it. We're all the way at the beginning. Okay, got it. Wow. Critical error, thank you for the prime and the two months. Chip snack, thank you for the prime and the four months and the five gifted wow. subs. I did this video. I totally did this video. I can't even keep the joke going. I just want to find out where the heck this video is. System for picking saves. The best football manager tactics tested first video that really popped off for me. Best bargain wonder kids only there's a 41 minute hidden wonder kids video that has a ton of views for some reason. I don't I, I wouldn't nobody in the right mind clicks on a 41 minute video about hidden wonder kids. That always confused me. I knew I, I was I was waiting for the for chat to be like I got it. I can't trust these links though, can I? I can't. I, it's not how you spell board. There it is. Hey guys, uh, wait a second. I'll figure out why I got a new background later. First. We need to talk about a video that I've wanted to make for a while. I just haven't had the ability to make it. Just never trust that next shot at the bar. Or else all of a sudden you're making a YouTube video in a new place and... Trust me.
Right, the video. So the video is about something that's pretty niche, but it completely ruins your save if you if you come across it. It's this phenomena of boards selling players. I can't even if watch it. If you're at a club it. that is not one of the biggest I cannot in the world, even watch it. this has probably happened to you. Like your board comes up to you and says, wow, this 20 bucks is just more than we could possibly turn down. So we're gonna sell this player who is integral to your long-term plans, tough luck. It turns out, and I discovered this by accident two years ago, there is a way to fight back, a super secret way to fight back. But it's not a bulletproof way. Now, if the board is trying to sell your player, you've got 99 problems and this can only solve like 53 of them. But solving 53 hey, problems- Hey, that was the first good joke I heard. That was the first, that was a solid joke. Got 99 problems, this will only solve about 53 of them. The the kernel of Zealand was already there. Gives you like 46. It was College already there. education, baby. So then you only have like 46 problems Yeah, I problems edited this left, myself. Depending on how much interest I edited this is for being myself. shown this in the player Reese, obviously. by more and more clubs, the easier and easier it becomes to get rid of more and more problems for Jay-Z. Here's how it works. Take it that when your board offers a player out. I'm pretty funny. They're shown one door. Sometimes. But what you have the ability to do in Football Manager is show them a second door. Use your background. And they get to pick hey. which door I don't focus they want to go though. through. And if they go through your door, you get to keep the player. Here, let me show you on stream. Because the reason I can finally make this video is the situation finally happened to me again, and I pulled it off on stream. I saved a player from the board. Here. Run the tape. The tape is from my Twitch stream, by the way. Oh, if you want to hang out with me. Okay, on I'm insufferable. Um, <laughs> basically, what we do is we go to Castellanos and we offer him out for like, pff, I don't know, $750,000, something the board's not going to find objectionable, right? And a bunch of teams are going to come in with that amount of money, right? Theoretically. Even though this was, that, that was like an immediate, was that Leonardo Bittencourt, like the Leonardo Bittencourt? No. What was I thinking of? I, I don't know. I don't know who I was thinking of. I mean, this is like the Leonardo Bittencourt because it's Leonardo Bittencourt, but you want to respond about him coming on? It's up to him. We know how good he can be and uh, we're Optimistic will be able to help the team. So we offer out Castellanos for... Okay, no offers coming in. Uh, we've now finished scouting Lee Monkeet. Screw it. He's already declared for the upcoming Super Draft. Oh, shut up already declared for the upcoming super draft nobody gives a flop dude this guy really thinks he's a lot better than he is he totally would be and just an above average player in my team he's not that good so basically we offer our castellanos for an amount of money that somebody's going to be willing to come in and pay I'm guessing it'd be 500,000. I don't know. What we want to do is get a bunch of offers in from other teams and any offers that we accept, we have the opportunity to reject. The problem is we're not getting any offers in for him, which is weird, which is unfortunate. You prep for the showdown draft? No, I'm doing it in class tomorrow morning. I didn't say that. Sorry, professor. Because zero, the board rejects it. You can't go too low because then the board says, yo, bro, we refuse to accept this offer. Because we have these other offers on the table. So we can't go zero, but we are going to need to to find a spot here. I don't even want to remove him from the list. I can almost smell the gold. <laughs> Why do we have this dude? Good thing he's on trial. If I signed him, I was uh, I was upset. Thank you for the 11 months, Cap. Wow! As part of the hammers. Dude, chip snack with the five gifteds. That's the second person that just didn't have a gifted sub that comes in with five gifteds. It's not working though.
Come on, baby. There it is. Somebody's there. Almeria. So if he decides to go to Almeria instead of Paderborn, which, you know, Bundesliga 2 or the Spanish, uh, the Spanish second league. If he decides to go to Almeria, then we get to reject it and we keep him. Which is nice. Let's try 90,000. There's no way this kid's a stud. So people are going to come in with a $90,000 offer, man. Does Reese like your old videos? I mean, he liked them enough to send me a DM and say, hey, I want to edit for you, but that's it. Oh, Isaac Success signed with another club? Un oh. Oh. Wait, does he play left? Like, wait, does this guy play left back? Could be like a nice solution, but his contract ends in five months, so no real issue there. God, Castellanos. No, not Castellanos. I just made you a captain, dude. Literally a week ago. I just made you a captain. Uh, I can't believe that he's just not on a lot of teams' radars for whatever reason. So, like, when this asking price is going down, there are just not a lot of teams that are interested. I don't know why. Probably because he's not interested in them. He's probably an ambitious lad. Not a surprise. Yeah, everybody's unhappy with training. That's not a big thing. You have a lot of hair. Oh, yeah. Why is the board selling Castellanos? Because I came in with an offer of 2.4 million, and that doubles our balance, and so the board lost its... But I have bigger. I have, I have. I have the grand vision. Yeah, I, I've needed the stress banana today, dude. these waiting games you just don't know We've done it cheaply. We've bagged 19 year old Luis Ortiz. Two hundred ten thousand biggest transfer in the history of the club. He's in. Wow. That's the type of guy that could be on our team when we win the league right there. That's the type of guy that could be on the team when we win the league. See, look at the changes we just made. Castellanos, this team is good. This team's going to be balling out. Ooh. 17 years old. We got to get on this quick before he declares for the draft. He's not going to play a lot of first team matches, so he can help that as much as he wants. I just want to get the kid on the team because on the top end of that, he's actually a stud. We've managed to identify very early just because of our, you know, incredible ability to, I don't know, scout people, which we're finally taking advantage of. We're catching up on a very long run of 
discounted players. Uh, Stephen Humphreys. <sighs> Hashtag not my forward. Elvis Balde in help increase our depth on the wing. It's not a super transcendent player. He does have a contract that runs out in a year, so I can throw him on that list. So does Ricardo Taman. Renteria is not good enough. Oh, is he though? Keep that scouting going. Giovanni Berrio, we can cancel that scouting. Safely cancel that, and okay. Same deal with you. End of contract for a year. Yes, Lucas Stazen, bit of quality to the first team. The kid's a really good player. Shalfaria. No. And Ortiz to be unveiled. Here we go. Does this deal have much of an impact on the budget? Uh, no, I'm not talking finances today. Say this step backward. He left Atletico Nacional, the best team in Colombia. We're in Liga Nas. He's a great player. The Deport oh D was a Deportivo Cali. Sorry, the other huge team. Oh, we just don't have the uh the money in the transfer budget to complete it. For Jordi Classy. Uh I don't want to do this. I don't think we need to do this transfer. I don't think we need to do this transfer. Chat, I leave it to you. Mods, can we whip up a poll or something? Hey, look, Astianos. I, uh, yeah, I, I don't. We've already delayed it twice. It's now or now. I don't think we need Jordi Classy now. Yeah, I mean, it seems like. Hell no, he says. All right, Jordi Classy. Contract negotiation over. Fat no, baby. Fat no, come on. Castellanos could just not want to leave, too. Or maybe Elmeria will give him a bigger contract. Here's to hoping. Uh, so they, that's how much money they want for... Yossi Gendi. Let's let's try that again. Okay, because I am interested in Yossi Gendi. He's a 19-year-old. I think he'll be a part of this team going forward for a long time. He's also Israeli. You think uh, Oriental Dragon get off to winning start? I'm confident. Absolutely. Friday's match sees a show up against Victoria de Guimaraes and Abel Ferreira. He's, uh, I don't really know what to expect. I, I don't have the first clue on how well he's going to do, but how, I want to play attacking. We want to go after the other team. Maglor's performances will be a key factor in determining whether you have a successful season. Uh, Tyler's clearly one with a lot of talent. Yeah, it, um, definitely. Linking with Sporting's Vladimir Kenya. Uh, I'm not interested in the player. I have no idea where this has come from. Abel Ferreira. Where was he at before? Marenz? Oh, so I've managed against this guy before. I, I'm going to pretend that I don't know him, though. I don't know him. I have no idea where this story has come from. False Nine Gang, I love trying to make a False Nine work. It, it does, time to time. I don't think Hamas would mind returning to Portugal with his Colombian brothers. Whew. Hell yeah. Gets tired walking on the pitch. He's just like... He's a ball mover. We had Marek Hamšík on the team last year, and he was a great contributor. I think his actual name is Yossi Isles Little Pog Champ Gindy. What is this stream? Like, we're... Oh, uh, Oriental Dragon. We are in Liga Nos, the top league in Portugal. We are about to kick off our first match of the season. Uh, very excited to see how we're going to do against Vitoria de Guimaraes. Uh, is the type of team we need to be able to beat if we want to get into Europe. We finished 11th after back-to-back -back promotions to get us up to the top flight. We've had a lot of turnover in the squad over the last two years to get us ready for this season. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> this guy's fun. He was at sporting. Canadian national team player, Lucas Diaz. That's fun. Can't tell me that's not fun. He's an athlete, man. Oh, boy. You, sir, are going to need a lot more time to get much more depressed before we can afford you. And you, sir, suck. That's a little easier to figure out. How we finish scouting Martin Vega? Oh, this 16-year-old? Well, now we know. Now we know. Juan Maritall. He's contracted through 2028. He's 32. I don't think we're wedging that guy out of that team. Not a big fan of slow center backs these days. Come on. I, I don't want this guy either. He sucks. I don't know why he was on my shirt list for so long. Nothing to say on the matter. Even though you repeatedly do that, it like really angers the board. Hey, we got a wager. What teams were promoted this year? Uh, we should check. We should check the season preview before we dive into this match. This is the first league match of the year. We won a cup match three to one in the league cup before we uh, we got to this. I pray on, I do. I pray on depression, desperation, and other human frailties uh, because they're very successful in the transfer market at motivating people to join my team. When a player is a baller, you can say this dude is cracked, but la crack -y. Have Ren got the most overpowered youth dev in the game, Kamavenga? I I know, but they churn out wonder kids. I'm a lot of a couple of teams in France are great. That uh, Lille, not just Ren. Lille is amazing at it too. I would love Champions League. It's very hard to get though at this level. I want to be the best of not the big three. Does that make sense? Come on, that's terrible. I'm not gonna do that. That's terrible. I want Yossi Gendi in the team. Right, I want to get him in. I want to start working on passing. I, I, we need... Do we have 100%? Is that 100%? Come on, that potential doesn't tell me anything. His adaptability sucks. Right, his work rate's bad. There are too many holes in this game for me to be, be willing to go out and give him that into contract. We're just going to have to uh, to wait. Ibrahima Barete's got an offer. Yeah, I just don't think we're, we're in a position to make a move for Ibrahima Barete at this time. Or we want to. I, I like. I don't think we would want to. Lucas Diaz just needs to be. We, he, we need to keep him depressed. He needs to get much more sad so that he wants to be a squad player for a hundred thousand a year instead of a starter for two hundred and fifty thousand a year. We'll get there. Cause that's what I want to pay him. Homegrown players update: Suniga, Kulabali, and Norberto Damian are about to be nation grown. That's awesome. Didn't even do that on purpose. All right, sweet. Jules Keita cleared. Josh Harup cleared, uh, which means we can make those changes to the lineup. Harup in for Wilpelier because, you know, we, we try and make it fair for everybody else. Y you know this by not allowing Wilpelier to play. Iroh Concha, we need to put him as an advanced playmaker because we need a playmaker in the team. And boom, there he is. Iroh Concha straight into the team next to Iya Malege. And our right wing. Goodness, who is our right wing? Oh, it's uh, Tennessee. No, it's Chessy. Zhou Zhang. God, it's great to have you, man. David Polito is now fully fit, so he steps into the lineup. It's Harup, Keita, Zhou Zhang. Yeah, baby! Chinese Messi is here. Diego Castellanos and what might be his final game for the team. Barrientos and Maglor, and we'll just go Kian Harry's there. For now, or like... Key and Harry's not have a... Uh, Barrientos doesn't have a side preference. Key, I feel like Key and Harry's does. It's the left. So... I'll go Harry's and Maglor. Do they... Well, this depends. Like, do they have athleticism at the top or not? I don't know. Barrientos, Ajisoa, Matt Butcher, Choka, Julian Ramirez, Aziz Ishtiwi, and Thiago Nus. We go positive... but not outrageous.
We got any... Oh, what? I just right-click him? Uh, whoops. Okay. It is time to get rid of the youth teams and get rid of unavailables. Ah, nice. All right. You are still on the bench, Parientos. You are the light of my life. Kevin. Kevin, you are the light of my life. Oh, Hyro Concha. Beautiful, man. I love to see it. Put Hara below. Somehow that's easier than the drag. Uh, and then free kick takers. Harup is the taker, but Hyro Concha is second. Hyro Concha is not only the advanced playmaker, but I guess that they, they normally kind of play that role too. It's the guy that can step in and, and do that. Castellanos as the long throw guy, and we did not set up our throw in attack previously. It should, well, it was already set up. Okay. Match time, season preview. We are projected 15th in the league. We were projected 18th last year. So this is pretty solid. Gil Vicente, Pachos de Ferreira, and Via Franquense are the promoted teams. Santa Clara and Marins took the other spots. And Vittoria de Guimaraes is in the Europa League. So this is an excellent test of, of where we're at as a club right now. An excellent test. They have pace. Is Sergey of fast? Dude's in his, his dude's in Uzbek. He's in. Whoa! The hell is this guy? Why have I never heard of him? I'm obsessed with Uzbekistan. Long throws aren't bad. They're just not cracked now. I overused the phrase. You know what I do need before I forget is a. Uh, I need to go to my scouting assignments and take one of these guys. Maybe Apple Fork. He's got a Portuguese knowledge already. Do we have anybody with that? Uh, nah, you're just Spain. Luis de Souza, Angel Moreto. So no, but no, nobody's got sweet, sweet Portuguese going on. Um, Leo Vega has got none. Captain Cheers Philip, no. I don't need the two next opposition though. I don't know why that's come from. Uh, we most of our assignments are not on because we're we're working on getting through our scouting right now. But we need, let's see. We need somebody, Emilio Vega. I am so sick and tired of like we need to just scout the Portuguese top division so that I know every player in it. Just scout it for hot prospects, but I'm literally just scouting it so that we know every player in it for opposition instruction purposes. Like, I'm so sick and tired of not being able to to properly set this stuff. Like, we, it's, it's time. We have enough scouts that we should be able to do that now while catching up on our other things. Ewan Henderson is on this team. That Ewan Henderson? Well, they've got a front four that is going to be there all of the live long day. So it's going to be fun. Like a Yohan Madrid and Zhou Zhang still have like cohesion. Let's go, boys. Let's go. First match of the season.
I'm ready. Are we really that good, baby? Are we really that good? Are we really that good, chat? I do believe, I do declare. Okay, let's go. I'm ready, I'm ready. That's the team, Dave Polito. Jules Kader, Josh Harp, Shu Zhang, Yaya Maleje, Jairo Concha, Diego Castellanos, Kian Harris, Tyler Maglor, Johan Madrid, Kieran O'Hara. Three points from this match. A statement of intent of how good this team can be. Even though the team expects to get relegated and we're picked 15th out of 18, made a statement of intent. Xiao Zhong. Xiao Zhong. God, it's great to have the Chinesi back on the field. All long throws. Keen Harry's. Oh, Hyro Concha, Yaya Maleje, Hara Polito, Jules Kada. Oh my God, they're the best team ever. Spin me! Spin again! Yes! Yes! It's liquid football, it's absolutely brilliant. It's Harup and Jules Cater and Dava Polito delivering a spectacular goal. The new acquisition, Jules Cater, off to a flyer, the Guinean national team wing. Quiero pelota. Maglor, drop of the hammer. Good hustle. Oh, let's go. Oh, so strong. Man, that work rate. The people's work rate out here. That boy Castellanos. Oh, Jules Keda. Oh, no. Complete miss hit by Xiao Zhang. Look good, though. He looked good. Tarup is way back there. Play away out of the corner. Castellanos. That's just nobody. It's lazy. Oh, Jairo Concha. Progressive passing from Jairo Concha. Ref? Tyler Maglor, really battling to keep his starting spot. Yaya Maleje, Jairo Concha, Shoshong. That ball was loose. I, he did not have a good handle on that ball. We're there? Come on, Maglor. Get around him, man. Get around him. Did drop this line one more. Create a little more traffic in that in that area. That's how that's O'Hara. That was the first pretty good chance we've given him. That was perfect. It was wide open. Oh run, Jules! Don't pass it there. 
lets you run to get yourself in position because now Polito's got a ton of stuff to do. Oh, he did run to get in position and we, okay. Oh, shut up. Also, Shinnessy! David Polito holds it up. Jules Keita, Zhou Zhang, 2-0. Come on! Come on, chat. Freaking go, baby. This team is in Europe. This team finished third in the league last year. I told you we were good enough. I freaking told you. I know you you probably told me too and we believed each other cuz we have faith. We know we, we know what we're building. We know the we know the quality of these lads. That's why. We know the quality. We all believe. The only people that don't believe are the actual lads who told me we were, you know, that trying to avoid relegation was too optimistic in the preseason team meeting. Oof. He's offside, but somebody forgot to mark him completely. Dragon Ball Z is alive and well in Liga Nas. 2-0. ODFC. Jules Kata looks like a divine signing right now. I never take too much from one match, but this is certainly... I mean, this is one of those matches like this is... If you take the next step, you're able to win these matches. At home against Vittoria de Guimaraes, uh, providing consistency is going to be key throughout the season. But this is it right now. Oh, come on, Concha. Oh, that's such a good ball, dude. Oh. Kian. Oh, Kian. He's good in the air, too. He's got like 15 heading. Kian, 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 Kian. Man. He could have had a brace if he was on. Oh, this is the wrong guy. Good save. They ran him off Harry's instead of Maglor, so he can't just get around him and turn him around easily. wasn't playing well. I'm going to try David Polito there. Because we do have a couple of options in striker, and so if Harrop's not going to be the guy, then we want to test out Tiago News. We want to test... We need to give Julian Ramirez another chance because we know and still believe he's good. Oh, come on, Joe. Battle to get into your left there. Don't settle. I am. I mean, you're staring at the obvious pass. Can't be great all the time. Still not battling to get into his left. How did we not score? Is that Polito and Keita? Polito, that's a nice pass. Oh, ho, ho! Oh, it's a thunderbass! A piss missile! Just rip the stanchion off the net, baby. Cairo Concha, welcome to the team. 26-year-old, signed directly out of the Peruvian League. He's a beauty. Fits into our system perfectly. There was a reason I was ecstatic the moment I saw him. Let's try uh, Julian Ramirez. Xiao Zhang's got heavy legs. On Polito. Oh boy. It's a bad pass. Alleje got beat. They got that perfectly right. We were screwed. That pass was off. All because Yaya Malege got beat. 
Conch is actually an outrageous crosser, 14 crossing for a central midfielder. Anytime he ends up in that spot, I'm okay. Nice, high row. Maglor just giving it a swing. Okay, Daver. <sighs> We're winning the league, bro, believe. Believe. We can do this to them, believe. Is that not a pin? I mean, he did get hit, didn't he? Come on, the pansy standards we have in today's game, that's not a pin in Portugal. He probably just didn't scream loud enough. Run! We didn't get here by walking. Look at the speed he has. It's unbelievable. Just optically very weird with a center back that's the fastest player on the team. Come on, Jules. Come on, Jules. You can fly. What a pass by Polito. <sighs> he and Harry's just screwed himself. That's why Maglor's on cover, though. This Sergeyev can go nowhere as long as Maglor can recover his position. Come on, Concha. This is a beautiful team performance, chat. This is a beautiful team performance. Oh, Maglor. We just dominated the third best team in the league from last season. We need to have a serious conversation, chap. We need to have a serious conversation about why we're the best team in Portugal, okay? Just saying. Clean sheet. 3-0. We didn't have our first clean sheet until January last year. Jules Kata's early goal, obviously important to deciding the outcome. We scored in the opening five minutes. We played like we scored in the opening five minutes. Jairo Concha also made his debut and scored and laid down an 8.3. This dude who has never played in Europe before, best I understand it, he hasn't. He played for Universidad San Martin de Porres, Alianza Lima, which is a good team in, in, uh, in Peru, and then Universitario Deportes de Deportes. He had five professional goals in his career, all in Peru. We sign him, end of contract, $75,000 fee, comes to the top flight of Portugal, scores in his opening match. Our ability to sign, my confidence working with attributes in FM21, our ability to pick these guys out of irrelevant leagues and be like, Ishtiwi last year started almost every game we signed him from the Tunisian League. He's very capable of scoring more than he does, so hopefully that takes it uh, upon him to contribute a little bit more. Contra enjoyed a goal scoring debut. If his debut is that good, can't wait to see what he does next, right? Uh, Pinto's been on with you. The journey up through the leagues, his record's you know, amazing. All right, our chances highly of getting to 35 points and not getting relegated. Oh! What a way to start the season, dude. 
We get sporting next. Oh, come on. I love it. I love it. Give me all the smoke. Who's your best player at the moment? That's a tough question to answer. I'd say our best long-term prospects, probably Daber Polito, the striker. Uh, if Castiano stays, it's probably him. Who's your favorite play-by-play -play broadcaster? Al Michaels. He's so relaxed. <sighs> Going for the usual four today? Yeah, they're probably around there, Isle. It's Denise. Denise, the saint. St. Denise. Yo, Denise! Speak of the devil, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. And Melvin! Melvin, thank you for the gifted sub. <laughs> Time to ask for stadium expansion? Nah, not yet. Kevin Cano. We have no idea uh, how good this kid is, but we know that he, he could be an absolute stud. We found him at 17 in, uh, you know, the lower levels of the U.S. And we know he's at least a two-star 17-year-old, so. Love to bring him through the academy starting in January and just see where it can go from there. Because you, you can't underrate those Americans. Melvin with another gift and <laughs> Kagan, welcome to the Hammers. Let's go, baby. Best commentary team in the game right now is Nance and Romo. I, I think it's Nance and Bill Raftery who do the college basketball tournament is the best. It, the, it, like, fantastic. Raftery is amazing, yeah. Give Bill Walton, look, Bill Walton is entertaining. Is he a great color broadcaster? Not necessarily. He can, it's kind of like playing Russian roulette with greatness. Cause sometimes he'll like, it'll work perfectly. And the other time he's talking, you know, he literally has asked his play-by-play -play analyst. They were talking about milking cows. And he's just sitting there like in the middle of a basketball game. He's like, you ever milked? Do you do a lot of milking? There's like a game going on and you're just like, okay. All righty. Madish Wozniak, 20 year old from Lech Poznan that an agent is all excited about. Started scouting Carbone. That's worthy. Keep scouting him. Step into the first team when needed is a no from me, dog. Step into the first team when needed, but 21 years old. Do you play? Cause Bel you shoot. Yeah, he plays a load for Belgetel. Okay. Clement Diop should not be getting a scout. Cool. Uh, Gianmarco Vanucci. Come on. There's no way that guy's that much better than the people we have on our team. Now this guy, Torpedo Shudzina is also I have a hard time believing he's the guy, but his aerial reach is outstanding. And if we know anything that we've learned recently is the fact that being able to control the air is like really, really important. Why has he not played a lot for Belarus though? Is the real question. Cause it's not like they've got, I mean, they have that one goalkeeper who starts at Bate, whose name I can't remember. But outside of that, who are they starting? Only 27 appearances. Makes me nervous. Makes me think he's not as good as he looks like he might be. So many, so many goalkeepers just floating around. Would you commentate on esports? Yeah, but I'd have to really understand the sport first. I haven't watched Ted Lasso yet. I'm Look, I'm going to at some point. I just haven't watched it yet. I know a lot of people love it. It's like a nice, fun American show. Now, it's easy. Kubu's not good enough. He, he's solid. We sold 1,873 season tickets for this season. Also, Matt Butcher just very quietly lost his starting spot. That performance from the new guy from Peru. That was Matt Butcher's spot in the lineup. Now, Butcher is the backup to Yaya Maleje is the box, uh, like the uh, space filler. We've really built a team of specialists, honestly. 
Kate's not that good. Got a little carried away there. He's very, very pigeonholed as a wing. He doesn't do anything else well. But in terms of being a winger, a 900,000 compensation's a bit much. Ali Reza Gorbani is somebody I'm interested in. I can't pay that compensation, so we're going to have to we're gonna have to go about it in other ways. We're gonna have to go about it in other ways, and that's okay. Ah, so the dude didn't get a contract from his last trial. What about this trial? At Oriental Dragon. Trial FC. Would you consider eating a hot dog? I love hot dogs. Would you cast a New Year New Zealand show if asked? God, I don't know. I should watch Last Chance You Basketball. I... Honestly, I'm probably going to watch that starting today. Would you narrate an audiobook? I imagine I will do that at some point in the future. Can you show your transfer history so I can catch up on past streams? Yeah, let's do that, actually. What happened to the Bolivians? We're still, like, the scouts are still out on them. Thank you for reminding me, though. Because I, I'd filed that in a, like, we're waiting thing. But we have, like, one here, Luis Chavez. So we, we don't... Here, let me sort by nationality. How many, okay, how many people do we have on the list now? All right, we're, we're getting into it a little bit. Would like to ask the board for more scouts, but we still are waiting on the old scout number. Okay. Strive to make progress on and off the pitch. Castianos has decided to stay. I love you. I love you. <sighs> yes! Vice Captain Diego Castianos. And if we can get into Europe next year, then he won't leave for that amount of money. That is a loyal legend in the making. Yes. Yes. Did you see the new F logo? Yes. Oh, Ludwig sucks. You hear that, Ludwig? <laughs> um, it was this Salem Jidu. Really like as a player. They do. He's playing in Mali. It's not like it would take a ton to get this guy out of there. Central player who is an offensive central player. He's the type of player that we we needed, but just a little while ago, not now. Oh, that is outrageously huge. Let's go ahead and remove that guy from the list. Oh, wow. Okay, they don't want anything. We'll be able to get Ali Reza Gorbani for very little. If we want to get Ali Reza Gorbani for anything, we'll be able to get him for very little. Uh, but what we need to do is go to our scouting and go to our scouting priorities and find our Peruvians, like Luis Chavez. Because there are some Peruvians that we really need to scout. It is amazing how long it has taken for us to try and get a full scouting report on Rodrigo Denorfio. All I've wanted this whole freaking transfer window is for Ryan Jones. Ryan, how long could it take, dude? Luis Chavez, a Sajak attack on an Intel full knowledge basis there. And then we need we need a few more Peruvians. Bolivians. Uh, 
Alejandro Mesa, who is an either-footed kind of wingback. Like, the Bolivians went off. They're insane. Why didn't Quelar is the guy that uh, we don't actually think is that good, so we'll leave him. But we need to go get Alejandro Mesa. Callejas? We kind of know him. He plays for Jorge Vielsterman, who's one of my favorites. But we can wait. He's not a guy that we're going to jump all over. Was there one other Bolivian that we were like, yes? Was it Peñaranda? It was Peñaranda. All right, Hugo Peñaranda, where are you? You're 76th? Well, let's go prioritize you. Hugo Peñaranda, we've got Chavez. We've got Peñaranda. Three different guys on the scouting. We need to figure out how good those guys are before the transfer window is done. Thank you very much. Thank you for reminding me of the Bolivians, by the way. You're awesome. Owen oh, Hart, thank you so much for two. Did I see the new RFEF logo? It says it's getting hot spur. Thank you for the eight months. Uh, no, I don't. What does RFEF stand for? Oh my goodness, it's me. The Royal Spanish Football Federation. News. New logo and shield. <laughs> I think it's pretty simple. The shield is fine. I think the shield looks good. The logo looks like some sort of petroleum company or like a gas company or something. Yeah. That's true. We could do the... I, I, this is why I love making all of these videos because then you guys... like It's hard to think of everything at the same time. Then you guys literally from the videos or maybe even from your own experience, more likely from your own experience, right? Come in and are like, well, what if you trialed him? I'm like, well, that's a genius idea. We haven't... I, we've definitely tried it with D'Onofrio, but what we haven't done is tried it with our two friends from Bolivia. We have not tried a trial with them. And the, the reputation of their club is bound to be much lower because they're in Bolivia, both of them. And we need to we need to skirt in and put that offer down. Okay. Oh, Luis Chavez! Please, actually. The, now the player needs to accept it. The player has accepted it. Oh, my goodness. We're going to find out how good he is right now. That's Nieva. Not interested. He's worse than we thought, dude. He's worse than we thought. That's why scouting is so important. He was in a range where it was like, well, you know, he could be, he could be something. Problem is this guy's lack of potential. It, like, we need real serious potential. Big concern with his playing time wants to fact reflect the fact that he's good enough to appear in the first team. That is operative. Um, Harry's, you're the new captain. You got this, right? Damn it. I'll try to start out alone for you. Best solution for everyone. Sounds good, Jeffrey. Loan for Jeffrey Mawson. Our American 22-year-old. That Axel Ruiz guy is actually pretty freaking good. We just, uh, we have so many players that are like that. You finished scouting Carlos Renteria. Well, start again. Last time I checked, it ain't done. Charles Inusoa Adola is the youth contract player at Hearts of Oak, which is in Ghana. Nuhu, is that a Ghanaian team too? No, that's in Belgium. Oh, shoot. Um, dribbling speed guy. Somehow still interesting to me. So many goalkeepers. So many goalkeepers. And another one. E. 
you. Chaos Theory, thank you for the three months, dude. Yeah, this is Oriental Dragon. Time to get that Iranian guy if the Bolivians don't work out. Exactly. The, well, the thing is, if that Bolivian center back works out, it's more valuable for me to go grab him than uh, than the wing. This is a, a real solid Wonder Kid center back. I, I would then have two of them with Barrientos as the sub. Like, long term, I would be set. We would be completely locked in at the center back position if that Bolivian guy works out. The Nanofrio is a long-term guy where if like we get a decent European paycheck, Nanofrio is an easy signing. And uh, we could sign him to play as an advanced playmaker where the Peruvian's playing right now and improve into that role, especially if his defense isn't terrible. But the Iranian is the guy on the table if the 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 Bolivian flames out. And what we, we've already completely scouted the Iranian. There's nothing else for me to do there. It's the 20-year-old, super balanced, 13s, 14s, with 16s in his athletics, like... And the fact that he's Iranian, and we always talk about that. Uh, salary percentage doesn't have enough interest in joining. You probably should, uh, Jeffrey. Just saying. Right, so we still have a lot of players on trial, right? Correct? How many on trial? Maybe not a lot. Uh, Chavez, Saul, Diaz, Antonucci, and Gonzalo Dorenzo, and uh, Leonardo Bittencourt, who is, for some reason, got a regular starter playing time thing in there, which means our training should be fine. Oh, that's stupid. Yeah, now you're good. at the goalkeeping and fitness coaches for training. That was just me being an idiot. Well, now the standard of training is uh, is really nice. We now have a great standard of training across. My bad. That was all me, bro. All me. Hey, champ. Thank you. Insert message here. I appreciate the two months, dude. You bought Ortiz, don't forget about him. No, I, that well, the, what I'm talking about, the center backs, is Ortiz and the Bolivian. If they're both five-star potential guys, Barrientos is not. Barrientos is good, he's going to get better, but he doesn't have that like potential that we could be winning the league with this guy on our team. That's the potential that I'm looking for. And so if, if the Bolivian and Ortiz have that potential, then they're the guys with Barrientos as the backup. Fringe player on 70% uh, fee, but also paying some extra money. What if you just paid 80%? Uh, okay. Sure. Mawson wants a loan. Maybe he'll go out and just realize that he's not actually that good. Gonzalo Escobar, now that you... Get gone, Gonzalo. Actually, I didn't really mean that. You're not a bad player. We don't need you. Castellanos wants to stick around for the long haul, which we're obviously really happy about. Why match practice two days before a game? I'm going to change it. Can you refresh the region face pack? Yeah, I'll do that off stream. Why do you have certain coaches involved with so many categories? Because they're there to reduce the workload. So the best coach in a category sets the star rating, and then the other coaches that aren't setting the star rating are there to distribute their knowledge and their ability. So the way I think about it is like one person's running your tactical uh, training, and then anybody else that is lined up in tactical training is there to set up the cones, to, you know, play the ball off to players, and so that you can like run your... Right, the training, but the guy giving the instruction is the guy who sets the stars, the guy with the highest rating, all oh, sauce. There's a lot of jumping reach out there in the world right now, chat. There's a lot of aerial reach on this guy. I thought it said he was 7'11". I was like, nope, that's not possible. There is no way that's true. He's got a place for Bahia though. It's on that end of contract list. 
Hey, Yehas, the scouting just finished. It's a lovely little player. Problem is, his potential is capped, and so he's just going to be a star at Jorge Vielstermann for a long time. The Harkin, actually not worth it, especially considering the amount of money those guys get paid in England to be okay. To just be average. Now this guy, Lucio Carbone, is definitely worth another scout. It's amazing that there were that many Bolivians that were... Just got timed out for asking if, it, if you would consider eating a hot dog. I already answered that question, dude. I don't know. Where did those 28 months go? Keep going good, sir. All the best. You got it, man. Maybe you were suggestively telling me to eat a hot dog. Where's the shirt from? Football manager sends, like, these jerseys. So it says Zealand on the back. It's very cool. It says, see? It says Zealand. You ever do an FM21 mobile save? Probably not on FM21, but still. Where'd the tw- Oh, dude. 28 months. 28 months as part of the hammers for Flam. Right into a cat jam. Just for old time's sake, you know? Thank you, Flam. 28 months and a founder's badge is part of this channel. a great cat jam but let me be honest with you right now let me be straight with you i want you to imagine this from the moment the moment my headphones fell off 
Normally the cat jam is so loud that wherever they fall off to, I can still hear the song. When my headphones fell off that time, the battery fell out. And so for the next three minutes, I heard nothing at all and just danced anyways. I had no idea when the song was going to end. Nothing, no clue. I was trying to imagine it. Yeah, I was just like, I was like, I think it's about to end now. And so then I just like went down and put the battery back in the headphones. And then it had just switched to the next song. I could not hear the song at all. From the moment the headphones fell off, I was flying completely blind. I could not hear the song. I had no idea when it was going to end, where the beat was or anything. I had time to change the match practice. I noticed that your rhythm was a bit off. Thanks, G. <laughs> that would be why. I could not hear the song. Good evening from France. Good evening back to France, my man. Wonderful cat jam, ladies and gentlemen. It was overall a wonderful cat jam. This is the type of content you show your kids and then tell them this is streaming. It's, uh, yeah, that's true. Sometimes you just gotta let loose. And when a cat jam hits, you just gotta let it rip. When you just, you go barreling into a cat jam, you gotta let it, you just let it rip. A gold plated cat jam. Flying completely blind while dancing is just standard operating procedure for white boy dance moves. Basically. I, I feel that. Hey, I really feel it's gonna help your development, Jeffrey Mawson. Try and earn your place in this team. They don't want to give you playing time. You got to earn it. Just like you had to earn it here. We can dance if we want to. We can leave your friends behind. Because your friends don't dance. And if they don't dance, well, they're no friends of mine. I feel like that was almost on beat. That was awesome. <laughs> Ninja Panda, thank you so much for the $5 donation. If your friends don't dance and if I'm friends of mine. If I don't dance. It was beautiful. I'm in tears. This guy sucks. Not just because they're Colombian doesn't mean they're good, okay? I'm not that shallow. Roberto Ogunsaye. Well, he's got 17 to 20 strength, and that was all I needed to see. That type of strength, you don't really need much anything else. Totes worth the $5, yes. We saw that in Chinedos. Nothing but Colombia's not many winners there. Hey, that Chinedos team, they captured dreams, okay? Not only did they smuggle kind bars, they captured dreams. The kind bars just funded the purchases. Worst striker ever, he says. He says, worst striker ever about Ogunseye. And Kosanathi Marquez, well, we're going to have to see, aren't we? Tucker Colwell, though. Out of here, man. Get out of here. I don't want Tucker Colwell. Oh, Sigonkov. Not that he was around. Victor Sigonkov. If only they could play matches at the same time, that'd be amazing. You have a fantastic record against Oscar Cano in your career. Uh, it's the players on the field. I, I genuinely don't think the manager matchup matters. It's the players on the field. Uh, we, Guillerme's had a few good days, but we hope to we hope to settle it down. We're in no rush on that. Uh, how important will Johan Madrid be against Sporting? Consider this sort of match that look we are always going to lean on Johan Madrid heavily. We're going to. You planning any changes to counter the suggestion that Port, uh, Sporting have you well scouted? Um, I'll keep them on their toes. I mean, we've got it. We've, we've 
Each year we come in with a new style. We develop a new style to play that best suits the personnel we have at the club. So uh, that's what we've done again this year. And that's what we're really, really excited to show off away to sporting today. Well, we're coming off a huge win. We're coming out, we're coming out with a ton of confidence, right? And we're, we're ready to dominate. Ready to dominate. Literally couldn't play in Liga Pro in Italy. Yikes. Well, uh, football manager's a different world. Norberto. Norberto, thank you for the four months. Thierry Henry and Louisiana ring a bell. Louisiana purchase? I didn't think Thierry Henry was that old, but hey. Eh. Wild. Paolo Antonio. Oh, are you scouting this guy too? No. Get him off the list. He's a, he's a straggler. I want to win over Porto. It's going to be tough. Porto was by far the best team in the league last year. Porto won the league with like... Oh my... Dude, do you see this? We play Porto next. We literally play the top three finishing teams from... No, 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 no. Sporting was not a top three finishing team. Sporting finished ahead of us. They, they were like eighth or ninth or something. They had a terrible year, but they're obviously more talented than that. They just laid an egg. Mm, found a really good player. It's actually not that good. We literally play Vittorio de Guimaraes, who finished third. We play Sporting, huge club, probably fourth. I mean, they're the third most talented team in the country. And then we play Porto. That's how we start the season. And I expect to start it with nine points. Don't tell me you have been Fika after Porto. Hey, I'm down. We got to play him at some point. How to prevent conceding late. Any tips or vids? I, I don't have a video on how not to concede late, but look, you need to start turning on time wasting. You need to have a way to shift your tactic backward, whether that's taking wingers that are on attack, putting them on support, whether it's taking advanced uh, attacking midfielders and bringing them back to central midfield. You have a way to shift your tactic back to take away space between lines that's there for the first 70 minutes of the ball game. That's what you need to be able to do. Diego Mercado. Uh, he say good segundo volante. That's for sure. But I just don't have uh, don't have a spot where I'm going to be using that. Antef Sungui deserves to be playing. Feels individual training is not producing any results. Well, um, let's work on something else then. Let's work on your quickness. For striker, that's something you'll love to practice. Gonzalo Di Rinzo. No. Uh, Francisco Antonucci. How are we looking? How, how's your depression coming? Oh, you want, you want squad players, so it is working. He, oh, come on. Francesco. Francesco. Just get in here for another month. We need to make you more depressed. We need to make him more depressed. Asking is an ignorant European. Since you're from that area, how much is taught in schools about the history of the Seminole tribe? I mean... A, a, a decent bit. Probably know a lot more about the Seminoles like than, than you do, right, Lukma? But that's, you know, like, because we grew up where the... I mean, the Seminoles were not the only tribe in Florida. The only reason the Seminoles are, are famous is because they're the only ones that never surrendered, right? And so they never actually made a deal. There we go. We finally finished scouting Rodrigo Di Norfio, and we're very happy we did because he is so not worth it. He, uh, Lassie Apolainen. You finished scouting him. You're kidding. Is this a joke? Look at the percentage. Do you see that? One percent. Hey, bro, finish scouting him. One percent. <laughs> really learned a lot about the attributes. Learned a lot about the player. Just an incredible, just an absolutely incredible job on the scouting trail here, dude. Dude's put in. Ryan Jones put in a shift 
What an effort by Ryan Jones. So worried about keeping track of his hair. He got the 1% scouting on Lassie Lapalainen. He's playing at Genoa. Just turn on the television. That's ridiculous. I can't believe... Ryan, I cannot believe you just turned in a 1% scouting report. If I could fire you, I would. But alas, here we are. It's not the time for Luis Ortiz to have to, to jump into the lineup. Um, we are missing our defensive midfield option with Matt Butcher out, which is not an option that we can kind of readily replace. We, we do not have essentially a third person that can do that. So Key and Harry's is basically that option, which means we bring back up Barrientos as basically if we need a defending midfielder, then we swap. And Kean Harry steps up the field. Samu Castillejo. Back from my two weeks in the woods of central Louisiana, and I got to say, I could not be happier. The energy has stayed the same the whole time. Also, Oregon State will be national champions. All right, man. If you say so. Here we go, boys. I'll give him 21. <sighs> oh, you, Sam Crawford's a believer. I'm glad you had a good two weeks in uh, in the swamps. I hope the wife's medical school is going well, Sam, and thank you. JS Wave, thank you. Oh, keep extending that sub through December. Wow. Yo, JS Wave just extended the tier one through December. Going to be right next to gold bacon by the time that comes up. Can we get some bacon in the chat for that? That's outrageous. That's a whole nine months right there. Oregon State is not a terrible basketball team. They're one of the 16 best basketball teams. Actually, Bluebird with the gifted. Wow. To Orion 21. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. Are you watching F1? I, I am not, no. Harry, straightforward for where you finish the last match. Hey, hey, hey. All right, here we go. We won at home against Guimaraes, the third best team from last season. Now we play on the road against Sporting. We ride. Let's grab some points, boys. Let's grab some points. Yeah, Jules. Still catching up on VODs, but just wanted to say up the dragons. Yeah, baby. Thank you, Brand Sanity and JS Wave. Yeah! Not only is extended through December, is gifted a sub the Brownie Shark. Thank you. What's the thing behind the offset attacking mid, getting players into positions that they can't anticipate and defend, and it's worked well. It, uh, it, it, it creates an overload and it doesn't give up a lot in terms of like positional security to create the overload. That was from 35 yards out. That's right. I, really, I don't. I, I don't believe we've been absolutely shattered and broken down here. I, I don't believe we've been shattered and broken down. That is just. 
Uh, he's zoinked it, and Kieran O'Hara, for whatever reason, wasn't feet set, ready to try and save it, but that was a .02 on the XG. Let's just keep playing. We expect to score multiple goals. Let's go do it. What a hit. All right, Harry's. There we go. That's the passing we expect. Ponch is the guy that's got to try and play this ball forward, and he does. Castellanos. Shojong. David Polito. Shojong. Madrid. Nice recovery. A lot of options here. Miraculously teeing up the three on two was not my favorite one of all of them. Good tackle. Superbly done, he says. And Maglor keeps the ball in as well. That's hard charging, hard work from Oriental Dragon. Arup's there. Arup. Goodness, that's a terrible pass. Good hustle by Kansha. It's tracked back really well, just positionally. Obviously, he didn't do a really good job at actually defending, but... Making him work. Yeah, I mean, the way they've nerfed, uh, clearly the way they've nerfed long throws is they make the center backs retreat now. And so uh, they weren't able to actually fix it. Man, I hate when games do this, but... So they weren't able to actually fix it. So what, what's happening is you watch like Maglor and... Um, I, oh, so they have they pull one out, right? So... Key and Harry's is over here and watch where Maglor goes. So Harry's is supposed to be in here. Yeah, on the instruction, he's in here. Uh, but the way they've nerfed it is they literally just take him and put him over here and then watch where Maglor goes when the ball's thrown in. So that's how they've nerfed long throws. That's stupid. They could actually fix it. But, you know, so like Maglor, Harry's. Harry's, Maglor. So let me game the system here then. Let's just put them in different spots where they're not supposed to be, right? Let's see if that works. Maybe it'll give us a better chance at it. You're adjusting corners? Oh, yikes. Really? Stupid of me. I'm adjusting corners. Still the same, by the way. Point still holds, even if I've slightly undercut it with my own stupidity. That they're, you know, on, on long throws, they're set to be in the box. They're just not. So now we gotta go fix corners because they do go where they're supposed to on corners. Unfortunately, that's an easy switch, and boom, ready to go. Cool. See if we can game the long throws to make them good again. Because that's just like flagrant disregard for the actual instructions. Just remove them from the game if you're going to lie to us like that. That doesn't make any sense and kind of angers me. Oh, he's in. It's 1-1 one, one at Sporting. Oh my goodness. What a ball by Castellanos to unleash him there and Jules Keita with a, with a fantastic finish. Tight match. Good match. Oh, come on, Zhang. Pick it up and run. Pick it up and run. It's what you do, Zhang. Come on, Chessie. Attack. Oh, he wasn't that far away from getting out of range of that. A conscious should be able to pick something. Madrid. Ooh. That's right. This is what Yaya Maleje does. That's why he's on the team is to slow this attack down. And he's done it really well. 
on. That's an issue. Nice block, Maglor. Shoot, what a play. And speed, man. Speed kills. There's nothing I can do about this either. That's why it's painful. This dude's having a game. He, he's sandwiched between two players, one of whom is a center back. He just rises up and wins it, gets it by the guy guarding the post too. It's uh, it's uh, an outstanding play by by Blizz or whatever his name is. Dang. Why are we anxious? Why are we anxious and nervous? Come on, man. It's 2 1. We're absolutely in this game. The goals they've scored have been just thunderous. Zhou Zhang is having an. Uh, is, he's having a mare right now. A 6.3 starts the game, starts the second half losing possession. I love where we are. It's slow down. Slow down. The thought. Oh my goodness. Want to go it alone? If you want to go it alone, that was the right way to do it. Come on, Maglor. Come on, Maglor. Use that pace. Wow, Harry's got there. Mmm. 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 Thank you, handsome, for the two months, man. Only one month away from toasting that bacon nice and crispy. Can't give him that kind of space, dude. Are they going to be good this year? Can't give Bragancha that kind of space. He's going to find that pass every time. Bad day for Zhou Zhang to have a 6.1. These least the Oriental Dragon fans brought flares. See, this just can't happen. He's the best passer in the league. He's got 19 passing. He's just chilling all day to find somebody, and he, he will. He'll put it somewhere that somebody can score. That's right. That's us. All right. Let's find a way to get a second goal, guys. We've turned up our aggression. He's not playing the fullbacks. Of course, he's not playing the fullbacks. This is where Harab should be. Good pass. It's all fine. That's like all that's all okay. Oh, that's us. Great work by Madrid. Amazing ball that opens this attack up so outrageously. It's got to be a goal. Great job. Beautiful. Textbook. Come on, baby. This offense is cooking. This pass from Johan Madrid, I mean, come on. And now Kata's got options. He takes his time, draws the defender, plays it into Polito, who is... He's our striker. He's our number 12. He's Oriental Dragon's best forward wearing the number 12. Not a boy, Maglor. Oh, come on, Daver. Use that dribbling. Use that dribbling. I'd like to see him go at this guy. If he slows down, turns around and passes it behind him, I'm okay with that. That's essentially what was just created by that clearance, but we didn't do anything with it. All right, boys. Let's see if we've gamed this up. So they've stayed in the box this time for the long throw. That's good. 
Noose, I'll take a corner. I am gonna just go a little crazy here and go with Kevin Barrientos just because. Because why would I not want Kevin Barrientos like for these, for this, like, oh, come on, really? I literally subbed the guy on for that corner. That's frustrating. Wasn't even a highlight. Bold managerial decisions. Subs on 19 jumping reach just for a corner that isn't a highlight. Oh, we're there. How are we not on that? Yaya Maleje, come on, man. You 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 aren't you don't even play on the offensive half of the field, okay? That's your ball. getting beat now those first two goals were like oh a tough day but now we're just getting beat at Manchester United. You're not on the team now. You don't have to suck anymore. Can we close him down, please? Like with the, the, the not with three people, but just with the one. There we go. Good stuff. Okay. In the highlight. That's what I was thinking too. Good call. Good call. Good call. We'll get him next time. Where's Barrientos? Isn't he supposed to be lugging his massive carcass around in there somewhere? He's also standing right next to that one. 19 jumping reach. Do something. Shouldn't be losing any of those. Very disappointed with the way Harup has played the last two games. Not matching what we saw from him in that cup. Oh, Noose. You can... Oh, Kate is in. What a waste that was. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, it's a tough match. It's on the road against the sporting team. Even though they had a terrible year last year, they're still really good. Uh, defense just melted in the second half. We were fine in the first half defensively, but it just completely melted in the second half. We were losing guys too far back on our heels. How have they not blown the whistle yet? Well, now they're going to blow it, right? No? Okay. Now they're going to blow it. Right when we step up to take the throw in. That's my latest guess. Huh? Huh? Cool. Yeah, I know. They've been better in front of goal. We had chances. We still lost. 
we weren't able to keep them away from goal. We weren't able to control the match. Uh, we weren't able to control the match from the midfield. And look, we're asking the team to do a lot and we're not going to win every game. Uh, our goal, like our goal is to get into Europe. And as long as we can beat everybody except for the big three, we will be able to get into Europe. And that's a tough ask. That was not 28 yards. That was farther away than that. Yeah, that was... I begrudgingly admit to being impressed. I don't even have to begrudgingly admit to being... I mean, that was a good goal. I just don't want to go lavishly over the top and anger my team. Yeah, Blinn was was really good. It's rumored that Bragancha might be leaving sporting. I would love that. I would love that to happen. Bragancha's been on that team for way too long. Ugh. He's been on that team way too long. Betancourt left. I mean, we actually haven't even gotten the inbox message that he left yet. What's the point of additional comments? If you just want to, like, basically mess with the, the press, it's for your own amusement, essentially. So I've just got double promoted into League Two as a, as a Weld Stone. Still semi pro. With two players, League Two quality and everyone else, uh, Team High National League, what's the next step from here? Uh, if you can get promoted into League Two, you're good enough to be at least mid-table in League Two. How much more, do you, more than you do they spend? I don't know what it's like. I imagine we're still very low on the overall uh, team spend. Salary per year is... Uh, Braga is actually ahead of Sporting, which is weird. Uh, they do spend so... They spend about seven times more than we do on wages. Uh, we are not last anymore, though. We are ahead of Tondela, Pacho, de Ferreira, and Via Um And Tondela wasn't even promoted last year. Vicente Gil Vicente was. But... Yeah, Sporting kind of fallen off there. Porto and Benfica are by far the highest spins, then Braga and Sporting are by far the second highest spins. Uh, I know you can't see because uh, there you go. So you can see us too, but uh, you heard me describe it. And then Guimaraes is, is in fifth, but there's a drop off like everybody else. And then there's Braga, Sporting, Porto, and Benfica that are the four. I love messing with the press, but if you drop cuss words, the board gets annoyed. Really? That's funny. I, I've never messed around with the additional comments and stuff before. Look, our, our defense is still a work in progress. The center back, our main center back signing, Park Ji Soo, is hurt. He broke his foot in the preseason. He's out for three months, right? And the other guys, Barrientos, and the, we whatever his name is, the, the other center back. Luis Ortiz, they're 19 year olds that we just signed over from Colombia. They're not just gonna jump straight into the team and be fantastic. And so we rely on Kean Harries and Tyler Maglor who played in a mid table team in this division last year. And we're, and they were good, you know, they were contributing players, even though they weren't brilliant. Right, Johan Madrid and Diego Castellanos are good. And Yaya Maleje is signed as a guy that devours that space and is able to get himself into positions to keep the back line healthy. But I think we might drop Maglor for Luis Ortiz just to see how how it plays against Porto. I, I don't like the way that sounds, but I, I feel like Maglor is too unskilled to play against Porto and that we might have to go with one of these against Porto and go with a double support on the, these sides here. And then that's how we're gonna. That's gonna be what we need to do. Zhou Zhang play out of the middle. He can. Harup goes on these stretches where he just sucks. It happened last year. We just laid down like a six point four for four or five straight matches. And then he goes back to like he's scoring goals. He's living his life. Whatever. Okay. How quickly will the 19-year-old develop? Do you have a limit of their playing time? Uh, no, I do not. So when do I get to upgrade from Gold Bacon? We should figure that out, Mike. Thank you for the 14 months, dude. Wow. 14 months for Mike ABC. Yeah, yeah, is the enforcer. He is. Uh, we are gonna wrap it up today, though. Uh, we'll start. We'll start the stream on Thursday with Porto. The stream Thursday morning. Tomorrow is the streamer showdown draft. 
be formulating my strategy tomorrow morning. So keep your eyes out for that. How'd the first match end? We won it. We're feeling good overall. So, but we are headed off for today, but we will be streaming like a lot of days in a row because we got streamer showdown, right? And so we'll be back and we'll be, now we have finally reached the point where we basically put our team together after like a gargantuan off season. We're playing matches and we're on the move. Draft is Wednesday, not Thursday. Yes, the draft is Wednesday. The draft is Wednesday. Uh, so I will see you guys tomorrow for the draft and the streamer showdown. We are going to raid somebody, of course. This is what we love to do. We're going to go make somebody's day. Um, let's, oh, Mark Goldbridge is on. Hey, we have more than half the viewers of Mark Goldbridge. I didn't know Mark Goldbridge streamed on Twitch. Get the, uh, we're raiding Mark Goldbridge, chat. We're raiding Mark Goldbridge. But we need, uh, we're not going with Shungite. Get the, like, Zealand as the savior, the light in the dark thing. I think that'd be funny to raid Mark Goldbridge with that. He'd probably just be like, the, the Zealand is the light in the darkness or whatever that one is. Goldbridge, he's just like a YouTube presenter. I don't really know. I just see all the memes with him in it. You either love him or you hate him. Really, that's what it means. Now, what's the, uh, there's, there's the long one that's like... It's not that one either. I need to learn my own commands. <laughs> so have you heard about the Lord and Savior Zealand? We'll just, we'll go with that one. That works. It gets to the point. It's not as circuitous as the one I was thinking of. But chat, we need to hit it hard. We need to hit it hard. That's all right. It will turn it into a copy pasta. Oh, is chat sub only? Oh, that sucks. Boo! 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 I want to sub just to tell him he sucks. There is n the only reason you do sub only is because you can't handle the unadulterated opinions of the general population. Somebody be like, well, your mod banned me. You can't handle my opinion. Stop talking about weird things when children are watching. That's not what I mean. I mean, he's on sub only because he's afraid somebody's going to tell him they hate him. If you're afraid of that, then Twitch is the wrong place to be. We're going to raid somebody else. We're going to raid somebody else. I'm going to surprise this guy. I love you, Dad. He's at six months till our baby. You remember Keg? The Keg man plays. He's on right now. We're going to go hang out with Keg. I love Keg. Keg's great. He's not Mark Goldbridge. He doesn't put it on subscriber only chat mode. Keg is amazing. He just started his stream too, so we can jump in and hang out with him. He's a great guy. A good friend from the old days. He has it on sub only because he has no mods and doesn't know how to do anything. So the chat's just filled with spam. Oh, well, he should probably, you know, research it before he starts doing it. Not that I did that, but I also, when I started streaming, nobody cared. When he starts streaming, people are going to care. He should research what he's doing before he gets onto it. You know, watch some Devin Nash and some Harris Heller, and he'll be feeling good in no time. All right, boys. I'll see you tomorrow for the draft. Onward, gentlemen. The Kegman plays.